What is going on guys? My name is Chaotic and welcome back to another Grand Theft Auto 5 livestream here on my channel. Today we are going to be doing some import and export special vehicle challenges and stunts. That's right. This should be pretty awesome. I've got a few ideas in mind so fingers crossed they all go to plan. I'll go to plan. Yeah, but if you guys have any ideas in regards to uh, different challenges or stunts you would like myself and X Real Gaming X to uh, to try out during this stream? Let us know by leaving a comment, and we'll definitely give them a try. What we're gonna do first of all is uh, get the cargo bob. We're going to attach our Ruler 2000s and make our way towards Mount Chiliad because there's been a few pictures going around, mostly on Reddit, I believe, of players being able to parachute all the way from the top of Mount Chiliad all the way down to the airport. So that's from almost one side of the map to the other, which is pretty impressive. So fingers crossed, we can do it as well. It might take a few attempts, and that's why we're getting the cargo bob, but uh, fingers crossed, we can do this. So, uh, Real, do you have your cargo bob and your Ruiner 2000 ready to leave? Doing that right now. Okay, right. I'm just well, getting into my uh, cargo bob right now. I'm at the, the hospital, at and uh, hopefully now in a couple seconds, we're gonna be all uh, hooked up. But I've got a feeling, because <laughs> I am terrible at flying there helicopters. There we go, I got we're gonna it. We have some problems with this. I'm just about to see it because it's nighttime. I hate nighttime in GTA. See, so yeah, there's loads and loads of you guys uh, in the stream chat right now. Hello to everybody. Uh, someone said they like the stream. Thank you so much, man. Greatly appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Just dropping likes before we even begin. Let's see if we can. Oh, come on. Come on. Just please attach. You've got a sign behind me. It's really annoying me. I can't even see where the hook is. No, oh, there we go. I've got it. I've got it. Not a very good job, but fingers crossed. I'll stay hooked up. Right. Let's make our way then to Manchiliad, which hopefully won't take too long. Really, on your way? Yep. Good, 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 good. Uh, we've got uh, quite a few guys in the chat saying hello. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Thank you very much. How are you guys doing today on this uh, horrible Monday? I hate Mondays. Uh, Monday someone said there's terrible. an issue with the quality. Oh, just refresh the page. and Hopefully that'll solve the problem. But uh, Otherwise, I'll take a look into it if it's uh, a common occurrence. Also, make sure you're watching in HD. Oh, and that too, yeah. Make sure the, the live stream is in 1080p because uh, I am streaming in 1080p, 60 FPS right now. And you can see in the top left hand corner, we're getting a nice solid sort of like 97 to 100 FPS or so. Uh, we've got uh, Eldon that said he just liked the stream as well. Thanks, man. Oh, really appreciate it. Oh, 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 I hit a bridge. Oh, we've lost your vehicle of you or you've still got it? I got to pick it up again. Okay, right. Well, I'm going to be there first then. Oh, that's so. the most inconvenient location. Yeah, so someone See, said... Just, we go for a like spike. Yes, that's important. Let's go for a like spike ASAP, never say, guys. We'll never say no to a like spike. Oh, uh, but yeah, yeah there's been a few pictures going around of a few players being able to do this stunt right here. Going all the way from the top of Mount Chiliad to the airport with the Ruiner 2000. That is an incredible distance to be able to fly or parachute uh, with the Ruiner 2000. But, fingers crossed, we can do it. Uh, someone said this is pre-recorded. No, it's not. So yeah. hopefully... Uh, <laughs> Hopefully me responding to that comment uh, ultimately eliminates that. Unless, of course, uh, we, we thought about doing this first to make sure that we eliminate any comments that people might comment. <laughs> <laughs> the stream is fake, pre-recorded last year. As always, man, as always. Because, you know, we got the DLC early, we're cool with Rockstar. The game volume right now is so loud, so they probably can't Hopefully even hear you. my cargo <laughs> makes it. It's already starting to have engine failure. Oh, really? I'm not even out of the city yet. Damn. Have you damaged it that much? Yeah. <laughs> so I was flying and I was a bit too low and my car got like caught in the bridge and it like sent me flying. It's got, I've actually got quite a few people by the way in the chat saying that they've actually done this challenge already. They've gone from Mount Chiliad to the airport. It's possible. Got a few people saying it's difficult, but uh, it is doable. Right. Well, hopefully. Well, if you guys have any tips, do let us know. Yeah, hopefully it's not going to be too difficult. But yeah, if you do have it's any suggestions. It's going to be faster for me to drive there, man. Honestly. You reckon? Yeah. Right. Well, I can always drop mine off and come pick you up if you're that bad. <laughs> but uh, I might uh, just give it a go myself, and you can just make your way there because I am dying to give this a go. If I can do this first try, guys, then I want a thousand likes in this live stream. Don't we all? <laughs> I want a thousand likes anyway, but <laughs> I definitely want to smash a thousand likes if we can do it. One uh, someone said try and go through the uh, the O on the Vinewood sign. We'll definitely give that a go. I'm not sure if we can do it from Mount Gilead. But uh, we'll definitely give that a go later on. And like I said, if you guys have any ideas for challenges or stunts, let us know in the chat. Preferably not right now, but later on when I ask again. Because uh, I'm trying to do this stunt. I'll only forget 
give me like five minutes. No, and it's so I'm typical that my vehicle landed upside down and now I can't get it to flip over no matter what I do. Oh, really? Go get another car to crash into it and hopefully it'll be alright. I right. did. Apparently I'm a mile high right now. <laughs> I'm not quite a mile high, I don't think. Come on. Isn't the top of Mount Chile at a mile high? Or am I wrong? I don't know. Flip uh, over, what are you doing? Right now someone said, why don't you try the ramp buggy versus the ramp buggy? We've actually right. done that already. Uh, I've got a better solution. The yet. answer to, uh, to that one is neither wins. They simply crash into each other and rebound. But we will try things like that. I've got a few uh, vehicle suggestions like that that we'll definitely give a go. So, uh, give it a go. So don't worry. All right. So I'm, I'm just gonna request to mine again once I'm there because it got stuck. I just blew it up. Oh really? Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Like Could why do you request another one? Make, make your way towards um, the Sandy Shores Airport and then just request another one. You're close and hopefully you can get one to spawn in. Yeah. It's always an option. I'm probably around about 100 meters or so away, but I'm still going up because I have my uh, ruiner attached. It's taking a little bit longer than usual. The view right now is so awesome. All right, almost there. Almost. Okay, there we go. Right, pretty much at the top. Let's detach my cargo bob. What we're going to do is uh, destroy my cargo bob as well because, like Real said, um, if we don't destroy it right now, we can't. Request another one, I don't think. We have to wait until the vehicle's destroyed. I might be wrong on that one. <laughs> I might be very wrong. Oh. But we'll destroy it anyway, just to make sure. I'm pretty sure, though, if you have a, a Pegasus vehicle in, and the one, if you want to try and re-request it, you can't do that. Right now, I'm, I'm probably making this up. It's just like a theory in my head. But we'll, we'll do it anyway, just in case. Because I'm afraid that if we fail, and we, we land like you know down there in the uh, Alamo Sea, for example, mm -hmm. then, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to be stuck. So let me just... Uh... Wait, did that blow up? Wait, I just threw a, uh, a sticky bomb on the, the cargo bomb. There we go. And it survived. I swear you can't do that. Oh, well. Oh, I got one star. How do I get a one star on the top of Mount Chile? There's no one here. <laughs> what? Okay, then. I think right, it's every so... time you destroy something, it's something I've noticed before. Oh, like, say really? you crash a plane, you get a wanted level, no matter where it lands. Okay, fair enough. Right. Wait. So you can see. You can see the airport from here. Uh, and it <laughs> looks so far away. But we're going to use the little trick, which allows you to go higher. So basically what you have to do is reverse, jump, activate the parachute, hold down the accelerator, and lean back. Sounds difficult, and at first it can be a little bit of effort, but if we can nail this on point, we can hopefully hit the airport. So here we go. So we want to reverse, jump, activate the parachute, and do that. Right. So we're accelerating right now, and I'm also leaning back. Hopefully right, that's, hopefully uh, that's perfect. Works. We are right now... Declining quite a lot. <laughs> I got a feeling it's gonna take some time as well to do this. Look how slow I'm moving. But yeah, there we go. So <laughs> all I can do, I guess, is just wait. I'm, right now, real. I don't know if you can see me on the map, but um, I probably need about a, maybe 100, 150 meters or so from the top, and I'm <laughs> going so slowly. Oh, no. uh, someone said there's a better way than doing this. Right, what is the better way? Let me know right now if there's a better way of getting higher than that and traveling Yeah, because I faster. still need to get there, so be sure to let me know as well so I can actually give it a good try. So if you have any suggestions, then, uh, you know, let me know. Uh, someone said you need to try and hold down a certain button. I don't know which button that is. Uh, someone asked, what car is that? This is the Runa 2000. How, how can you not know of this vehicle? It's awesome. Yellow Jackets just joined. What's up, man? Shoutouts will be done at the end for those asking. So instead of taking around about 10 minutes or so to go from the top of Mount Chiliad to the airport doing this. Okay, well, <laughs> it's been about maybe kind of a minute already. Maybe it's, that's a bit fast, but yeah, we haven't gone very far at all. We're not even over the, the, the actual sea yet. The uh, Alamo Sea, so this is going to take quite some time. Um, right, someone said uh, there's a much better way of doing this. Let me know right now if there is, because uh, of course if we don't make it first time, I want to know how to do it next time. Uh, we are, I don't know, we're probably maybe a fifth of the way. Maybe that's probably a bit of an exaggeration. Well, we're at least at the bottom of Mount Chiliad now. You can see we're, we're about to go over the Alamo Sea. I can't actually adjust my mouse. I need like a third hand. Because uh, mm -hmm. one finger right now is on the accelerator because I'm using mouse and keyboard. One's on uh, the number pad to lean back. And I guess I could use my mouse. Let me see if I can do that right now without pressing anything. There we go. Right, we can see yeah, I'm just over the sea right now. We're still pretty high. So we might just get over these hills. I'd be very, very surprised. Hey, what's up, man? Oh! oh, oh. <laughs> no, don't do that. Don't you dare. Mate, don't. 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 <laughs> I know what you're trying to do. Just go and get your real now, and we'll see you later on. <laughs> Enjoy okay, me. I think we're, we're going to make it over the hills in front of me. We're over halfway now. 
are between Mount Chiliad and the hills. Probably about three quarters of the way. Let me see if I can, can like see where we are on the ground. Okay, so we've gone over the sea. I'm actually really surprised. I thought this was going to go a lot worse first time. But no, we're doing it. Uh, someone said you need to hold the analog stick down. I'm not using an analog yeah, so, stick, um, so I'm playing on PC. There's a mouse and keyboard, so... If you use Xbox, just push the left analog stick down. That's what I got. Right, okay, I see, I see. Uh, someone said, when do you do a face reveal? I've already done numerous face reveal videos. Uh, did, I've done at least two face videos this month. Uh, wouldn't <laughs> recommend watching them. I wouldn't watch them, though, because you'd be, like, I don't know, sickened by the sight of me. But uh, just, just search up, I don't know... My name, Chaotic, <laughs> on uh, YouTube, and hopefully you'll see it. Or oh, such a face reveal. I got a few videos of that on there. Uh, someone said, "Real, you should go and shoot him." Uh, Real, please don't shoot me because mm -hmm. I want to try and <laughs> I want to try and do this. It's taking forever though, man. It's been like three, four minutes already, and I can still see the top of Mount Gilead. I haven't gone very far at all. Uh, we're probably coming up, maybe a quarter of the way, maybe even a third of the way now to the airport. Sort of like, yeah, we're definitely, definitely getting that. Um, we're on the outskirts now of uh, the Vinewood Hills area. We're about to go over the observatory in about, well, I'd say about 30 seconds, but at this rate, maybe about five minutes. Hmm. <laughs> uh, someone said I day to get out. Uh, <laughs> I want to do this, man. I know we can oh. do this. Oh, look at that. And the, the sun's coming up as well. This is perfect. Should we go into, like, cinematic mode? There we go. Look at that. Oh, Bruce is calling. I can't press the button to decline <laughs> the call. Let's see if I can try and do it with my arm. Let's see if I can do it right now. Here we go. Would it, would it work? There we go, we did it. Oh my god, that was difficult. That was difficult. Hopefully there wasn't any issue with the mic then. <laughs> like, I'm knocking my head on the mic. Okay. Uh, we are... Are we going over the, the observatory yet? Nope. We, we've, I can't quite see it. Let me see if I can move my mouse. There we go. Okay, well, yeah, very, very far away. I said it was going to be like 30 seconds. Been about a minute now and uh, we're still not there. <laughs> All right, come on. Okay, I'm almost to the top. I'm actually very surprised. We haven't come down further. Like we're still not uh, descending as much as I thought, which is very, very surprising. You can still see the top of Mount Chiliad. We're probably only, no, no. Only gone down by about uh, maybe a hundred, hundred meters or so. You know, towards the ground or so, which is pretty good. Uh, Delicious on. asked, can, uh, "Can you read this comment out?" Done. <laughs> right, Everyone's saying, "Shoot his parachute." No, don't you dare, man! Don't you dare <laughs> shoot my parachute. I'm. We'll I reckon as soon as I get into the Vinewood Hills area, I'm going to be about halfway or so. We're not f I'm actually very surprised I'm doing this well. Very, very surprised. Yeah, come on. Right, we're almost over the observatory. Let me try and move my mouse again with my arm. There we go. Yeah, we're getting close to it now. Maybe about 30 seconds or so from this point. Somebody asked, is this PC? Of course it is. This is always PC. We will be playing on... Uh, on Xbox or PS4. You guys seem to always ask that question. Like, what console are you playing on? <laughs> we never play on Xbox One or PlayStation 4. So unless you're new here, I can only presume you guys are trolling. Uh, there's one guy in the chat right now, by the way, Real, who keeps saying this is pre-recorded. Like, he said it now <laughs> every 10 seconds. Like, <laughs> I appreciate the uh, <laughs> the effort, though, man. It's like copy and pasting like See, a See, Sam, you went really far. You even went out of your way to, like, pretend that somebody said it every 10 seconds. I mean, he legit is. But, you know, keep on doing it, man. It boosts up the comments on this live stream and will hopefully get me on the trending page of YouTube right. Gaming. Right, let's see now if I can do this. We're about to go off. Oh, you're, you're just the top. I'm, I'm just out, going Tom? over the observatory, which is roughly halfway, I think, to the airport. I'm so surprised we've gone this far. We're still uh, well above the height of Maze Bank, so hopefully we can do this. I'm still holding right, the buttons how down. How do I do this, guys? What's the strategy? I've just gone off, and I'm, like, pulling back. Well, And I'm holding RT. Is the there rec anything the else recommendation I that I gave was to do the little trick that I said. So you reverse back, jump, accelerate forward, and hold uh, the sort of, like, lean back button. That only gives you, like, an extra meter or two of height. But right now, I'm, yeah, well over halfway, and I'm still very, very high. You know what? I might even be able to go uh, past the airport. That's not the aim. We're going to try and land in the airport somewhere, hopefully on the airfield if we can, on the airstrip itself, the runway, there we go, got there eventually, uh, but yeah, we're doing pretty good, but not gonna lie, my fingers right now, they need to be like lifted off so I can like, <laughs> give them a rest, <laughs> holding them down so hard, you know, in my mind, if I hold them down harder, I'm able to like travel further. <laughs> Let's see, so we're not even at the bottom of it yet, almost, actually, we kind of are. 
It takes We're so long, man. I don't know how long this has been. In my in my mind, it feels like I've done this for about 10 minutes now. But uh, it feels like forever. And look, the, the sun's coming up as well. Let's go into cinematic mode so we can try and see that sun. Nice secure ourselves logo on the top of there. It's a shame we couldn't change the logo on that uh, parachute. So like an emblem or something. That'd yeah, be cool. so, so we could have maybe our own crew emblem or maybe our organization name or something. That would be awesome. Maybe in a future update, there'll be like a customization option for that. But right now, there's not. Maybe Rocks, I didn't even think of it. Maybe not. Who knows? Oh. Okay. Uh, someone said, I've now. just tuned in. Where did you begin? We start at the top of Mount Chiliad. Let me try and reverse. So you can see I've gone all the way from the top of Mount Chiliad. And uh, we're trying to land in the airport right now. That's, this is how far we've gone. I'm really surprised we've gone this far. I'm pretty impressed. Uh, but, uh, yeah. It looks like we're going to do it. Unless, of course, I just can't hold these buttons down any longer. I really need to right now. Let go. <laughs> and just, like, give the two fingers that I'm using a rest. <laughs> so hopefully we can do it guys please drop a like right now I'm asking for your support every like we get is going to be an extra second to be holding down the button one so... like equals one prayer <laughs> exactly man a prayer for my fingers I also need to like scratch my eye I'm going to try to like lean down now. and do that's it right good now. you've gone down past Mount Chiliad yeah oh I'm over I've the sea the now into sandy shores okay okay what sort of um, height do you think you're at right now I must be still above Maybe, maybe even the height of what looks to be the Eclipse Towers behind me. Maybe still the height of Mount, uh, of the Maze Bank. Well, I'm quite high up. Still so pretty high up, that. but not like at the top anymore. Oh, like, Ron's calling me. Oh, not again. We had Brucey first, but now Ron's calling me. Try and uh, knock my mic, my bad. There we go. Mm. I said to click it. There we go. <laughs> that was difficult. Can you imagine how scary this would be in real life? Someone said you don't actually have to hold it. You do have to hold the buttons. If you don't, you'll start to free fall a lot quicker. That's why I'm accelerating right now, which makes the car lean back. And I'm holding back the lean back button as well. Although, by the looks of things, I'm going to be able to overshoot the airport. So hopefully when we get above it, I can just deactivate the parachute and land in it perfectly. But I'm, I don't know, honestly guys, I'm so surprised and suppressed. Uh, suppressed? Suppress? Surprised and impressed. There we go. Uh, that we've actually gone this far. I thought on my first attempt, it just wouldn't be possible. It was going to take me numerous attempts. But it looks like I'm going to be able to do it. And I'm going to be able to do it very well. Wow. Someone watching this stream, I want you to like record this all the way through and time lapse it. And like tweet it at me or something. That would be insane. Just look at how slow this is. It is but very, very slow. To see. I'm coming close to the airport. I'm going to try and go for the, the main warehouse at the back. Try and land on that strip over there. I guess I could sort of like turn to the right now. But I kind of want to see how far we get. I'm almost at the observatory. Okay, that's roughly halfway by the looks of things from where, where I am right now. I'm coming in now. I'm actually over the first part of the airport, just about. You know the sort of like warehouses and the custom shop is? I'm mm -hmm. just going over those. So what I want to do now, I could start to descend and land in the airport. But I want to try and land on the... Uh, the runway over there in the distance, which isn't too far away. It's going to take me another, like, minute or so. But, yeah, there we go. Someone said, why don't you try and land on the maze bank? Yeah, we could try and do that. We could definitely try and do that. What we were going to do after this was go up to the sky barrier with uh, the cargo bob. We're going to, like, let go and see if we can free fall onto the maze bank and use the parachute, obviously, to, like, direct us. We could do that, but we could go from Mount Chiliad to the maze bank because it is possible I can uh, see if I have enough height while I'm right here. I, I, I definitely I had. I definitely had enough height. The, the way that I did it, I definitely had enough height. But it's about sort of like nailing it perfectly. And I can't tell from where I'm at right now. Right, okay, okay. Uh, I am now getting very, very close to where I want to land. I just can't believe I'm still very high up and I've made the airport. That's that's really incredible. Right, we're almost... Should I just keep on going? Should I keep on going yeah, to be... see how far you could go. I reckon... I. Just from my height right now, I could go very far into the sea. This reminds me of the um, the bike gliding glitch. Uh, <laughs> That's remember that? We, we should see if that still works while we're here. It does still work. Does it? Yeah, it still works. The Rockstar patched it, but they've unpatched it like a couple months back. Okay, I'm going to let go right now. I'm in the airport, guys. There we go. Let me just enable the parachute again so we don't crash. There we go. Done. So there we go, guys. I have been able to parachute all the way from Mount Chiliad, which we can just see in the far distance, to here. And I could have gone even further. Wow. <laughs> I'm just entering wow. the city. I'm over by the dam right now. That was, in, that was impressive. That really is incredible. You know what I'm going to do right now? I'm going to call up Pegasus, get another cargo bob. I'm going to do that again. But this time, we're going to try and land on Maze Bank. Because uh, I'm just so surprised that we were able to go that far on our first attempt. 
I thought it was going to take us, like, numerous attempts, so we did that very quick. Although it did take me, like, 15 minutes or so to do that. Hello, 15 minutes of holding down two buttons. Vecco says, when's your Q&A coming out? Sir. Probably this weekend. A little bit before, even. Okay, let's go and make our way now to the uh, cargo bob. If you guys have any suggestions, by the way, for any challenges, which might be better than going from uh, Mount Chiliad to... Uh, the Maze Bank, let me know right now, and uh, we can always divert and change that. But I think that right now is going to be a pretty interesting challenge. And uh, I'm going to try and read the comments as much as possible. Obviously, when I'm doing things like this, you know, activating the parachute and just holding down two buttons, I can keep reading the chat, so we won't have any issues there with distractions. But let me quickly attach the uh, cargo bob first before I go back and read those. Hopefully we don't have any problems this time. Because you can't really see the cargo bob puck. It's like too close to the bottom of the cargo bob. I always struggle with this, so fingers crossed we don't just like smash the top of the ruiner. Okay, please just hook straight away. Is it done? Oh, I got it! I think. What were we attached to? I think we were attached to the front of the car. Uh, the front of the car, yeah. It's fine. Ooh. I'm just about to pass Maze Bank in the next two minutes or so. Okay, you got about five minutes to go then. Oh, there we go. I've got my ruiner. Oh, I'm gonna LJT's fly. He's calling. <laughs> I'll try and try and press it, man. It's so difficult. If you're playing mouse and keyboard like me, it's so hard to try and. Pull the buttons down and decline the call. I can't even see you right now. How high are you? Someone think use the rocket Voltic from Mount Gilead. I've got a feeling we aren't going to be able to go that high. We could try though. We could definitely try. I still can't see you though, man. Where are you? I'm right by Maze Bank. Go by Maze Bank. I'm not above it though. I'm below it, sort of. Like I don't have enough altitude to land on it. Oh, really? Oh, you must have, like, <laughs> not done the same method I did then. I didn't have the best takeoff, effectively. Oh, okay, okay, fair enough. Uh, I still can't see. You must be, like, so far away, the game just hasn't rendered you yet. Um, if you expand your mini-map, you should be able to see me. Right, I'm looking right now. Oh, I can see. I can see the rough direction you're in. I'm gonna sort of, like, fly towards you and see if I can fly nice and close and see what sort of altitude you're at, because I was definitely above Maze Bank when going past it. Someone says, came here from Chaotic, dropped a like. Thank you, we're going for 100 likes, and we're almost halfway there. How many Someone you said, on? to prove uh, this is not pre-recorded, yell out turtle. Oh. Turtle. I didn't yell it turtle. out, though, so it is pre-recorded. Ooh, Ooh, careful. Oh, <laughs> oh I see you, I see you. You see me? I just fired a rocket, mate. Do you see me? Uh... <laughs> no? <laughs> oh, there you are. I see you. You're above me. No. Right? No? Where is this? Wait, I saw the rocket then. Oh, there you I'm are. Below. There you are. You're like a very small speck below me. Mate, you're <laughs> never going to make it. You must be like, going to just about do it. There he is. Actually, no, I don't know. You might just about do it. You might just about do it. No, okay. mate. Yeah, definitely. But well, damn, just goes to show me how far this thing can actually glide. That's incredible, though, man. You don't really need that much height. We could probably have gone from much lower height, especially for me, and easily hit it. Hit it? Hit it. <laughs> what am I saying? Uh, someone said try and land on a boat. Okay, we'll definitely try that as well. We'll try and land it on the, the tugboat, maybe. Or maybe the yacht. Where is my yacht right now? Let's see if I can find it. I think it's... No, it's not by there. Where is my yacht? Maybe it's up in Polito Bay. Oh, there it is. By the military base. But we're going to try and land Ruiner, first of all, on the top of Maze Bank. Because that seems like a pretty good challenge. And uh, it'll be a lot harder than trying to land it in the airport, which, of course, is a much bigger area. We can land it on the top of Maze Bank. Wow. Uh, someone said, is there going to be snow in GTA? Of course there will be. Uh, Rockstar haven't announced when that's going to be yet, but it'll most likely take place on Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. As soon as it does start the snow in GTA Online, we of course will be live streaming. We'll probably do an open lobby like we did last year, have some snow fights, do some races in the snow and stuff like that. Uh, someone said, how do you uh, actually go that far with the Runer? Uh, it very, very, is very, very simple. You just like, accelerate and lean back. I'll show you guys now how we do it to get to the top of Maze Bank. But honestly, guys, I wasn't expecting to even fly half that far. I thought we'd just like crash land in the Alamo Sea or something like that. We'd never do it. But as it turns out, it's much easier than I thought. So uh, yeah, definitely give it a try, guys, and, and see if you can beat yourselves. Uh, someone said I tweeted you a few ideas. Right, okay. What I'll do once we get to the top, I'll go ahead and open up Twitter on my phone and see what your suggestions are. But, um, I just had 69 FPS. We made it. We made it. You did it? Yep. Oh, nice, man. Well done. Well done. So there we go. We both did it first time. I'm really surprised by that. But <laughs> there we go. Uh, what you want to do now is get yourself into the cargo bob, make your way back towards Mount Chiliad, 
And we're going to try and get on top of Maze Bank. i got a feeling this might take us an attempt or two. So we could be here for some time. But uh, fingers crossed. Uh, someone said, when is the festive update going to take place? Uh, there is the possibility it gets released tomorrow in GT Online. Because uh, the current special event ends today, if I'm not mistaken. But I've got a feeling that... We might get a new special event beginning tomorrow, but the actual Christmas content won't be released until later this week, maybe Thursday or Friday. I think last year... If I remember year, correctly, last year they like gave us an announcement but didn't release it yet. Like There was a post on the Newswire and it said like later this week or something. Yeah, I, I think what we had was uh, like we had a basic like special event, so some double money and RP opportunities were out there. And then I think then later that week, so we had like, the announcement on the Tuesday, and then on Thursday we got some Christmas clothing. But it wasn't until Christmas Eve where the snow began. We also got the Tamper, if you remember. The Tamper became available on Christmas Eve as like a Christmas present. And uh, I think we got a few other items as well. Maybe a few other like exclusive items to that uh, event. But don't quote me on that. It was something very, very similar to that at least. All right, someone said, what are you trying to land on the train? We could try to do that. That's going to be very difficult to do. So you have to, of course, have to have the train to spawn in before you can land on it. But we'll definitely give it a try. Uh, someone said, why don't you just try and race to Maze Bank? Uh, races aren't really challenges, are they? You know, it's a race. We're going to try and do some more more crazy things with the new special DLC vehicles. That's what the uh, whole theme of this live stream is. So we want to try and do some crazy things with the Ruiner, the Rocket Baltic, the Ramp Car, anything like that. So if you guys have any suggestions, definitely let us know and uh, we'll give them a try. I'm still taking forever to fly to the top of Mount Chiliad. It's almost as long as it actually took us to parachute down towards the airport. Uh, someone said when you try and invite some of your friends into the game, uh, because we're using Visual V right now, no one can actually join our session unless they have it in, uh, installed. That's why we're in a public session and there's only us playing because there aren't many players online that have Visual V, the graphics enhancer installed. So uh, it's actually a really good way to uh, you know do the whole like buying and selling of cards and do challenges like this together without having to uh, have any issues with the players in the session. Uh, someone said there's snow in GT Online right now. Is that true? No. I want to send me a picture right now on Twitter if that's true. Because if there is snow, I will reload GT Online and see that. I don't think it actually spawns in without needing to change session. Right, Cargo Bob has placed the Ruiner down. Let's uh, place it over here first of all and then destroy it again. Just in case uh, destroying it... Oh, uh, not destroying it causes any problems of course. Right, we just... Oh, there's loads of pedestrians up here. They're going to give you a wanted level, I can tell. Oh. Where's my cargo bob going? It's like sliding down the mountain. Okay, I'm going to place a sticky... Actually, we'll place two sticky bombs on it this time. Because first time, I placed one sticky bomb and it didn't blow up. There we go. I think it actually, yeah, it survives one sticky bomb by the looks of things. I didn't know that was actually a thing. So there we go. Things you don't know in GT Online. Oh, tomorrow's video. Right, got a wanted level on top of Mount Chiliad. Nice. Good luck to the, uh, the local sheriff to try and get me. Okay, so this time then, guys, we're going to try and get on top of Mount Ch uh <laughs> On top of uh, Maze Bank. We both begin with M, so uh, give me that. I'm, gonna I'm try just and... getting to the Vinewood sign. Okay, right. I'm going to try it. So you're roughly halfway. I'm going to try and point it towards Maze Bank. We're roughly straight right now. So what we have to do is reverse back, jump, activate parachute, accelerate forward, and hold back the lean back button. So let me give me a second. I'm going to like stretch my fingers because it took us like 15 mm. minutes last time. But fingers crossed we can do this. Okay, I'm pretty much ready. Right. So, reverse back, jump, activate parachute, and then there. It wasn't quite perfect, but uh, oh, there we on, go. Oh, don't do this um, again. There we go. We're good. We're I've, good. I've got a feeling that I'm going to be going just right of the maze bank. It looks like I'm going to be going just right of it. I don't know if I should adjust my parachute or not. I think I'll just like stay straight right now, and when we get close, I'll adjust it accordingly. I'm kind of afraid if we do it, it'll, like, it'll drop me down, because that's what it does. When you adjust your parachute, you do fall down slightly. So I'm just gonna just gonna keep on this path right now, and we'll adjust it later on. I'm gonna just swap fingers over on my keyboard because they're already hurting. Mm -hmm. Someone said, "Why do you try the ramp car against the train?" Okay, that sounds like a pretty good challenge. I think I know the result already. The train is an unstoppable force, but who knows? Maybe Rockstar put an Easter egg in after all the uh, "What can stop the train?" videos were going viral. You never know. I'd like to think Rockstar might do something like that in GTA 6. They'll put some Easter eggs in from GTA 5. There's a few Easter eggs from GTA 4 like that. And uh, who knows, they might do it. Uh, someone said, uh, I've just joined. Hello. Hello to you. 
Got a few guys saying they've dropped a like on the stream. Thanks to you guys. I'll try and name some names if I see any names uh, from people saying they dropped a like. Uh, apparently, real, you're left of me. Where Where are you? I'm still trying to get to the top. I can see you way up there. It's just my cargo bob is almost dead. So oh, I'm trying okay. to get all the way to the top. Dead? How, how did you, like, lose health on your cargo bob again? I keep, like, dipping too low to the ground and crashing. Like I just did right as I said that. Oh. <laughs> how can you be that low, man? You want to fly nice and high and then sort of, like, go towards it. All right, okay. I think I'm going to be going to the building just right of Maze Bank. So when we get close, I'll have to, like, change my direction. But like I said, I'm afraid of doing that. We're going over the Alamo Sea right now. So we're probably about... Hmm, maybe almost 25% of the way. There's a few of you guys saying there's snow in GTA Online. Oh, oh. I don't see any snow. <laughs> uh, we got some questions in real. Someone asked, what's your favorite color? Um, well, I don't really have a favorite color. I'm not 10 anymore. Uh, but if I had to... Uh, You're now 11. <laughs> if I had to choose a color, probably blue. Like, you know, nice, nice sort of like light blue, I guess. Like, uh, ultra blue. It's kind of nice. What about you, Real? Have you got a favorite color? Blue and red, primarily. Blue and red. Yeah. Nice bright colors. Dark blue. Right, okay. Oh. We're gonna... We're gonna just about hit Sandy Shores any moment now. So we'll be... Yeah, definitely over 25% of the way. Maybe a third of the way uh, right now. We're still pretty high as well. I'm well above the height of Maze Banks. So we should be able to get the height, but whether we actually land on it or fail miserably. I've got a feeling I'm gonna... I'm gonna let go of my parachute when we get close, and I'm gonna miss it by like a meter, or hit it mm. and fall off. I think if I hit it and fall off, that counts. I think. What do you guys think? If I hit it and fall off, does that count as getting to the maze bank? No. Am I actually gonna land on the top for it to land count? On top of it, man. I, I think we do. <laughs> oh no 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 no! Don't fall off! Don't fall off! Don't fall off! Right now, I've got the knee to scratch. Like every single time, you you can't you can't let go of something. And like. Scratch my leg. And you just become itchy. <laughs> yes, I'm like itchy all over, man. Like, my hair needs an itch. My leg needs an itch. Could one of you guys, like, just make your way to my house right now and give me a scratch? <laughs> no. I wear... Oh. I can't see you, so you haven't started yet, have you? No. Okay, right. I must be... I must be coming on at least halfway right now, and I've lost quite a bit of height. We're still above the height of Maze Bank. Fingers crossed we make it. Um, Adam said he dropped the like. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. We're actually uh, well over my like goal right now. I'm going to go for a thousand likes on this, guys. And if you guys do like these challenges, then we'll definitely do another stream like this. Uh, maybe tomorrow. Unless, of course, uh, a new DLC vehicle's released. We've got a feeling they might get something tomorrow. A new uh, vehicle. Hopefully the Truffade Nero. But I've got a feeling Rockstar might hold that one back. Because that's going to be very, very popular. Right, so you're saying go backwards. You want to reverse, jump up. activate the, the jump. You then want to uh, activate the parachute. Pull forward and lean back at the same time. And what that'll do is get you some extra height straight away. Only an extra meter okay. or two, but it does help. Uh, Blue said he dropped a like. Thank you, man. Greatly appreciated. There we go. Mac said he dropped a like as well. Uh, actually, I think right now, let me see if I can adjust my mouse using my arm. We're still above the height of the maze bank, but we're getting very, very close. I think I didn't nail that, uh, that jump initially. And that's why we're not going to quite make it. I'm also going in the wrong direction as well. It's going to be a slash. I've got a feeling that this first attempt isn't going to be successful. I guess we'll see how close we get. If I think I can do it, if I can definitely do it, then we'll, we'll go and give it another try. If I think I'm just going to be too far off, we might just give up and maybe try something else. But fingers crossed we can do it. We got uh, uh, Lisa said that she subscribed. Thank you. Mr. Orlando said he dropped a like. Thank you very, very much. You guys are awesome. I love you guys so much. And uh, I'm going to go in cinematic mode right now just to uh, get some different angles for this live stream. Fingers crossed we can do it, though. I love cinematic mode, especially when doing things like this. Like, so cool. So, like, picturesque. Uh, <laughs> picturesque. So, like, um, cinematic, <laughs> I guess. You could call it that. Oh, yeah, I guess so. But it's, like, awesome, man. It looks awesome. Imagine that's, like, a little picture right there. Ali Mod says I left a like. Thank you. We're at 60 now, which is incredible. Right, uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to go for the wrong building by the looks of things. I think I might be just too low for the maze bank. I'm trying to adjust my mouse right now with my arm. It's very difficult. Uh, we got a few a few people just tuning in right now asking, where did you begin from? We start from the top of Mount Chile, as you can see. And uh, we managed to hit the airport first attempt. 
But I'm pretty sure I was much higher than this last time. Pretty sure we were. I've got a feeling right now I'm not going to be high enough for the maze bank. I'm also going to have to change my direction of travel any moment. So we start going towards maze bank and not this uh, like half-built building. I don't know how we, we got that wrong. I was definitely pointing towards the maze bank when I began. When I like reversed the vehicle. It must have been when I reversed it. Maybe we slid out slightly. Uh, Delicious said, Hi Kaelic, can you please read out this comment? It'll make my day. Done. Um, <laughs> David says, is it just me or is real cooler than chaotic? No, it's not just you. It's definitely a fact, not just <laughs> me. Mate, you wish. I bet you made up that as well. But there's no one even watching your stream called David. <laughs> He's like, yeah. I <laughs> oh, if there is, you hopped on a second account in the comments. David is my second account. <laughs> <laughs> right, I think any moment now, I have to try and change my directions. Here we go. Right, let's try and point it towards Maze Bank. Oh, no, I think. I think I'm I just below. I'm, I'm just below I'm Maze Bank right now. We're dropping down very, very slightly when I do that. There we go. We're nice and stationary right now. I might be able to get on the side of Maze Bank, but not the top of Maze Bank. I must be... See if I can move my mass again. I'm moving it further and further away from me. Let's see it right now. Shark attack says I just leafed a like. It's well like that. I must As be uh, appreciated. Right now, I must be just below the height of Maze Bank. I'm lucky. I'm gonna feel I'm not gonna do it. And as soon as every time I like move my mouse, I move the direction key. Sorry, uh, to like line myself up perfectly. I'm dropping down even more. I'm not going to make this. That's no, not possible. No, I'm not going to make it either, man. I'm, I'm now below the top of Maze Bank. Guys, we haven't done it. We haven't done it. No. Jimmy says drop the like. Thank you. Oh, I can't no. make this. I can't make this. What do I do? Uh, Just keep going, man. See how close you get. I want to see how, how close I can get at least. I'm going to land on that lower platform. Not the, the first platform, but the second platform by the looks of things. Which is roughly maybe 50 meters too low. I think it's all because that first jump wasn't perfect. But maybe you just can't do it. Maybe you just can't get enough height. Look at that right now. We were probably just the right height. Just, or just below the right height for that second... Uh, oh, sorry, first platform you can see right by there. So, let me uh, just hit the maze bank. Here we go. No! Activate parachutes. Oh no, we're going to fall off. <laughs> oh no! We didn't even land on the maze bank, guys. We fell off it. Damn! Oh, the question is, do we give it another try? Or do this we move like on to a This is, like, really challenge? boring, man. I think we do something else. I've got a feeling that it's just not even going to be possible. Like, it has to be, like, perfect, spot on, on the jump. So I think what we're going to do right now is give up with that challenge. Now, we did get a pretty good suggestion from someone with uh, the Ruiner. Not the Ruiner, sorry. The, the Coil Voltic. So I'm going to go and make my way to my warehouse right now and go get my Coil Voltic. What you should do as well, Real, if you're already pointing towards Maze Bank, like, turn towards your vehicle warehouse... We're gonna go get the coil Voltic and try something else. Or should we try the um, train versus ramp buggy first of all? Should we do that one first um, of all? I say we give that a try. All right, we'll give that one a try first. Then we're gonna go on and do the uh, the coil rocket Voltic one. Unless you guys, of course, have any really good suggestions for challenges. If you do, comment right now and uh, we'll give those a try during the stream for definite. Uh, There's a few people right here. Uh, give us a few like vehicle challenges, you know, like vehicle versus vehicle. I've done quite a few of those already on my channel. Just go back to some of my previous videos and you can see things like Ramp Buggy versus Ramp Buggy, uh, Ramp Buggy versus Phantom oh. Wedge, and there are some pretty interesting results, so definitely go and check out those videos. Uh, but right now, we're going to try the Ramp Buggy versus the Train. I'm pretty sure Fred's already done this. Hmm. I haven't seen the video because it's Fred and it's 10 minutes long. <laughs> I haven't seen the video and I can already tell you he's done it. So, uh, I think he, yeah, he actually told me. He told me that uh, he was watching our live stream when we were jokingly saying, I bet Fred does ramp buggy versus train. And he said later on, like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And I think he uploaded the video, but I'm not too sure what actually happened. Because, See? like I said, his video is 10 minutes. That's and why we don't have about for that. video ideas, because these <laughs> GTA YouTubers, man. Right, where are you right now? Am I going to wait for you, or are you going to just, like, make your way? Um, you can wait for me, man. I'm where are you right You'll we'll buy them down. Down. Okay, if you um, just like come down, I'm gonna pick you up in my ramp buggy right now because uh... I'm already on the ground. Oh, you are. Okay, I'll, I'll come. Yeah, pick I lowered. There's no way I was gonna make it. Okay, drive towards uh, your warehouse. Then. That's where I am right now, and uh, I'll pick you up in my ramp buggy. We're gonna go and try this together. We're gonna do okay. train versus ramp buggy. So please, guys, don't comment right now if you already know the answer. What's gonna happen? This is gonna be a surprise for all of us. For those people that don't know. Well, I actually don't know what happened, so. Um, I should have said that. Now everyone's going to comment what happened. I, exactly, man. 
You're nowhere near the dam, man. I'm by the dam right now. You're actually over by the observatory. I have moved since then, mate. Right. The, the dam is by me. And I'm by the warehouse. <laughs> I'm going by the warehouse, then. Yeah, okay. Right. I'll see you very shortly. This should be pretty interesting. Oh, I'm pretty sure I know what's going to happen. The train's just going to smash into us and blow us up because it's one of those unstoppable forces. Like but if Rockstar are as cool as I think they are, they might put at least their egg in. Oh, you're going a different route to me. Uh, you want to make your way towards me, man, because I'm going to give you a lift. Now, oh, where are you? Uh, oh, you're over here. Okay. Yes. I was making my way towards you, and you like tried uh, to go a different way. Yeah, I can just about see you now. Ramped you, mate. Nice. Oh. Hop in, hop in. Let's go. I'm trying to do it. Let's do this together, guys. We're going to make our way then towards the train and do ramp buggy versus train. Someone says, do you read the chat? Yes, I do. Right now, guys, I want you to comment your thoughts and feelings on this. What do you guys think is going to happen? Is the train just going to smash into us, blow us up, or is the train going to be ramped? My money right now is on train smashing into us. What's the uh, the best way to get the train? Is it over here? This one over here. I'm trying to think where the nearest train track is. We could always Short try the... Uh, you should do Titan versus Ramp Buggy. Oh! I don't know how that would work. What uh, would happen? I just think you just drive under it. We'll, we'll definitely give it a try though, man. We, we can try anything you guys want. Just comment, and if we can see the comments and suggestions coming in, we'll definitely give it a go. Uh, says, do you have PS4? Not yet. We'll be getting one soon. We'll try against the train and then the tram. We'll give both of them a try. Uh, where is the uh, the train, like railway line from here? Let's take a look. I think there's one over here, right? There's on the other side of the road. There's like a bridge. Um. Yeah, there's one over there. There's one over there. Uh. We're gonna go to that uh, railway line. It's like the best vehicle off off road. This thing. Most suggestions coming in right now, or theories from people coming in, is that it's instant death. So, <laughs> right. I, like I said, I'm pretty sure that's what's going to happen, but you don't know until you try. Oh, there's a train. There's a train. Oh, oh, oh. Let's go. Oh, go. Can we stop it? Can we stop the train? All right, let's get down here first of all. So we can have enough time to like turn around. Oh, we'll go to the other side of the tunnel, so we're like ready. We're ready for it. Okay. I bet it's going to despawn now, isn't it? <laughs> Most likely. Uh... We won't go too fast then. Please don't despawn. I can see it, I can see it. Don't hear it, we're good. There yeah. it is. Okay, we're gonna go to the end of the tunnel then. We're gonna turn around. And uh, the reason we're gonna go outside as well is just in case we get lucky and Roxel's put a little Easter egg in. It does get flipped somewhere and doesn't just hit the top of the tunnel and kill us. Um, I got a feeling it's gonna despawn when we're going so fast. And break turn, that didn't go very well. Fingers crossed is okay. I guess we can always try the uh, Phantom Wedge as well. But if it doesn't work with this, I'm pretty sure it won't work with the Phantom Wedge. Right. Is that perfect? I got a feeling because our tire is on the track, uh, we're like too high for it. Where's the train? Where's the train? Is the train gone? Hang on. I think the train just despawned. <laughs> Let me just drive up. Just get back in the car, man. I got a feeling it just despawned. Hop in. Are you kidding me? It despawned? Okay. Yep, it despawned. We were going way too quick for it, man. What we'll do, is we'll drive up the track. And when one spawns, we'll just stop. Or should we drive into it? Maybe stopping's the wrong thing to do. We'll drive in its drive direction. Drive right into it. Yeah. Nice. Now we need a train to spawn in. I bet one won't spawn in. One won't spawn in at all. Usually when the host is driving towards the train, they don't spawn in. That's what I've always found, at least. Hopefully we can get one to spawn in, though. Fingers crossed. You know, like half an hour ago, I said someone was commenting saying that this stream is pre recorded. That guy is still going. commenting every 10 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> and I thought I didn't have a life. <laughs> well, you don't, but. <laughs> Thanks, man. In the, in the time I need some support from you. Oh, is that a train? Oh, no, it's not. It's just like. <laughs> it's like a little gas tank thing right here. Oh, are you being serious? A train spawned in and now one's not spawning at all. <laughs> because it's night time and trains just don't spawn at night. Wouldn't Come surprise on. me. Come on, train. I'm sounding my truck horn right now. Train. Well, maybe the best thing to do is just let you drive ahead. <laughs> oh, where are you, Mr. Train? Oh, I just paid my mechanic $500. That was expensive. Okay, we'll keep on driving now, I think, for another like minute or so. If a train doesn't spawn in, I'll let you drive ahead. I'm pretty sure they don't spawn in when the host is trying to find one. 
Is that one down there? No, it's not. No, it's like the uh, little train stop area. Okay, Good. right, I give up, I give up. Right, you go and find a train. Drive up the track. As soon as you see one, turn around, but don't go too quickly. Make sure you can keep it in your sights and come towards me. That's what we're going to do. Fingers crossed this works. I'm going to just sort of like make my way towards him. I probably should have got myself a car, not given him mine. <laughs> but, uh, oh well, it's too late now, he's gone. Uh, Ryan said he just dropped a like in the stream. Thank you. Thank you, for, thank you for the... Can't talk at all. Thank you. We're up to, uh, almost 750 likes right now. That's pretty awesome. Oh, there's a train right here. No, it's not. I'm joking. <laughs> That's like the little container tank things. Oh. Is that a train I can hear or is it just the wind? You know what's going to happen, don't you? You're going to drive away. A train's going to spawn in by me. Yeah, and you're not going to have the buggy. <laughs> I'm not going to have the ramp buggy. We've probably just got one each. Right, okay. Anything yet? Any any nope. sign of a... No train. Nothing. Oh, here's one. Here it is. Here it is. Okay, right. Turn around. Keep it in your sights. But come far enough ahead that you can come and pick me up. Turn around in time and we can do it together. Fingers crossed it all goes well. You might want to get a car and start heading this way because it's going to be quite a while. Right. You've gone that far. <laughs> yeah, pretty far, man. I'm going to try and get a car then. See if I can get okay. one of these. I'm going to go over here now and you're going to go straight past me. Hmm. Oh, no. Stop. Stop. Oh, never mind. He's gone. He's gone. Let's get this uh, uh, motorcyclist person. Come here. Come here. Come here. Um, someone said, Chaotic, you're a cunt. Thanks, mate. I know I'm a cunt. I actually won the award for 2013, 14, and 15, and hopefully gonna win it in 2016, so... Well, who are you up against? Oh, well, there's Jeff. <laughs> I think so, he's there, mate. I think he's won it already. I'm pretty certain of that. Fingers crossed we can do it. Uh, come on. Come on. I'm coming towards you right now. Uh, how close is it to you? I can still see it. We're good. Okay. All right, let's go. Right here, we're going to do the quick old switch around. Okay. Let's go. No, just turn around. Just turn around and do it right now. I'm going to watch you from third person. Let's see what happens, guys. Drive into the train. Do it. Do it right now. Drive. What's going to happen? Oh. oh. <laughs> At least it didn't blow up. That's a start. Let's try it again. Try it again. Let's try and uh, get to the front again. Try it. Try it. crashing massively right now. So, by the looks of things, the result was as expected. The train doesn't get ramped. No surprise there. But oh. it didn't blow up, though. It didn't blow up at all, so it just... Instead of me flying, man. It just rebounded it. Where are you right now? It kept you... sending me flying. Let's see if I can get into the car with you so we can do it together. Oh, you are still reversing. You know what? Get out. I'm going to drive. I'm going to drive. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. So the train doesn't despawn. I've got my eyes on it, so we should be I've okay. I've only just realized this thing doesn't have any lights. So it's very dark at night. Harry says just subscribe. Thank you. Try and go into the at uh, the back. Maybe it works then. Do it. Oh, it stopped. It stop. How to stop the train in GTA 5? Oh, we stopped the train. Look Guys, at that. we did it. We Somebody used the ramp buggy. At we just stopped the train. How to stop the train in GTA 5? Use the ramp buggy. We did it, guys. Yes. Oh, and before anyone's like, um, guys, it just stops by there. It always happens. No, we you're know. Wrong. You're wrong. We know. <laughs> no, we did it. No, it was wrong. Arguing. Totally not like just the game. No, exactly, man. You know it. Oh, it's going again. Try and catch up. How to Fingers temporarily crossed. stop the train. In GTA 5. Well, don't tell them that. You just pause the video and uh, that's how you stop it. Oh, <laughs> oh no. I'm going to miss it. Let's just try and... Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. I missed nice. it. <laughs> nice. Failed massively. Oh. I'm going to try and make our way back onto the track. What if... 100 ram buggies try and stop the train in GTA 5. Oh, let's get 100 of them. All we need now is 100 friends. Or well, 99 friends. Well, actually, eight, 98 friends because there's already two of us. Let's do it again. Oh. oh. Oh, can you see that? It actually tries to get stuck under there. If you hit it from the side, you'll go, like, flying. It's ridiculous. Really? Okay, we'll give that a go. Yeah, flying, man. I don't know if you saw that, though. The ram buggy does try to go under the train, but it glitches out. So what if we try that again? If we nail it on... Like, perfect. The round buggy might be able to go under the train, but it'll just glitch out and maybe go into the map. Oh! Come on, go! Oh! See? It does try to go under it. It does. I'm surprised it hasn't blown up yet. 
very, very surprised. We got quite a bit of damage on it. It's not even smoking though. Let's go a little bit further up and then try and handbrake. Turn around. No, it didn't go well at all. Go quick. Oh, keep activating the radio. Pressing the wrong buttons. Oh, <laughs> oh no. No. It's flipping us. Right, let's go down a little bit further. Let's go further away so we have enough time to go full speed into the train. Okay, right. So let's uh, turn around. Oh, no. It's going to jump. Massively wrong. Okay, let's go. Full speed. Hope we can get up to the speed right now. Go like in between the track like this. Oh. Okay, I, <laughs> I think it's safe to say it's not going to work. But. You can see the ramp buggy does try to go under the train. So although it's not going to stop it, or it's not going to lift it up, it might glitch out. If you keep on trying this, you might find the ramp buggy does glitch out and go under the train, and maybe go into the map. Who knows? But is uh, Mod says tell Chaotic I'm just to like on his stream too. Um, there you go. Just, just tell like. him thank you. Can you do that for me? Oh, he said thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Was it Harry? Was it um, Harry? Heli mods. Oh, heli mods. My bad. Sounded like Harry. Right, let's try one more time. I'm gonna give up. Ooh! Oh! Oh! See, that's what I was talking about. Oh, that's I see. What I, was talking about. I see. Right. Okay. So there we go, then, guys. To conclude, you can glide the Ruiner 2000 from the top of Mount Chiliad to the airports, but you, you can't stop the train or lift it up with the round buggy. There we go. Let's move on then to a different challenge. If you guys have any suggestions, let us know right now. Someone says use it can involve the, um, any rocket special and go vehicle. to the army base. Go to the hill that allows you to go in and use the rocket there and see if you can get to the other side. Right, okay. Okay, I see what you're saying. We'll give it a go. Unless you guys have any better uh, suggestions now for challenges, comment right now. If you have any suggestions for challenges or stunts involving the new import-export special DLC vehicles, to be clear, it has to be one of the special vehicles, not use the Zensorno to hit a stunt, because we don't give a shit about the Zensorno. We want to use one of the new special vehicles. So yeah, if you guys have any awesome suggestions, and who knows, if it's a really good idea, we'll give you a shout out as well. Yes, sounds awesome. By the way, guys, we're just 200 likes away as well from uh, my like goal of 1,000 likes, which is awesome. You guys are insane at the support on this uh, live stream. So thank you so much. But if we could smash 1,000, that would be awesome too. So please, guys, drop a like if you haven't done so already. And I promise I won't beg too much. I'm actually really surprised the train didn't do that much damage to the uh, the ramp buggy. It wasn't spoken at all, man. It's only spoken now that we've gone into cars, which is pretty impressive. Let's go into... Oh, actually, if you get out right now, so you can go and get yourself one of the new uh, special vehicles... And uh, we'll have one each. I'll go inside here right now. And uh, do this. Right. Okay, uh, someone said, uh, what about the uh, the Phantom Wedge against a Phantom Wedge? Who wins? That. That's actually a pretty interesting question. Right now, real, get the Phantom Wedge out. We're going to try Phantom Wedge against Phantom Wedge and see what happens. We've tried, of course, the Phantom Wedge against the Ramp Buggy. The Ramp Buggy wins. We tried that, uh, was it yesterday in a video? Well, today we're going to try the Phantom Wedge then against itself. So you bring out the Phantom Wedge. Which vehicle wins? Which one like flips the other or collides and rams the other one out of the way? I've got mine. I'm ready. Let me know real when you're done. I think this is the Phantom Wedge. Let me double check. Yes, it is. Okay, we're good. What other Phantom Wedges are there? <laughs> the Phantom Wedge the is, the, is the truck here. with a massive wedge on the front. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right, there you're you right. are. Okay, we're going to go, uh, I think on this road by here, it's like a fairly fairly straight road. Um, I'll stay on this side. Okay. Okay, first of all, what I'll do is I'll drive into you, then we'll drive into each other, and then we'll try going behind each other or something like that. Okay, here we go. Let's see what's going to happen. I'm driving into Real Winnie Stationery. Oh! Oh. Right. Decent results. So first of all then, by the looks of things, when I drove into you, I began to slide, so you were like flipping me. But when we got to a certain point, it glitched out and we both got flipped. Right. Right, let's try going into each other. Let's try driving into each other then and see what happens. Who will win? Okay, let's go. Drive, 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 drive. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? Oh! Oh, I hit the side. Right, like... so we, we like collide and like rebound. But you seem to be a lot more affected than I was. Right, okay then. Let's, um. I'll go behind you now. If you, like, drive in front of me. Oh, actually, no. You just go into the back of me. Drive into the back of me, and uh, we'll see what happens. I'm, I'm pretty sure I know that you'll just, like, slam me out of the way. But 
Unless maybe there's something in there that we don't know. So, move that car out of the way. I'm going to go nice and slowly for you. And... Oh! You just, like, push me out of the way. You don't, like, flip me at all like you would with most vehicles. Alright, if you just go fairly slow now so I can catch up. And I'll just go into you. Oh! Went onto the oh. side of you. Oh, there we go. You get me right now. Drive forward. You just, like, drive forward for me. Oh, no, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> I'm going to go into you right now. Just keep going forward. Towards the hospital. No, oh, not okay. forward into, into the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's a retard, guys. Right, let's do it. He's done nothing. Okay, do a little bit slower because the phantom wedge that I've got isn't any faster than yours. Okay, yeah. Oh, I flipped you that time. I got you that time. Right. So there we go then. By the looks of things, the two vehicles just collide. No particular vehicle flips each other. There's like no winner, I guess. Based upon, you know, whether you're stationary or slow or... Sorry, moving into each other, sorry. There is no difference. Okay, there we go. Another interesting result. Let's make our way then back towards the uh, vehicle warehouse and try another vehicle and another challenge. Again, if you guys have any suggestions, comment right now. Uh, someone asked, uh, what about the armored Boxville against the Phantom Wedge? Okay, we'll give that a try. Uh, I'll go back and get my armored Boxville. Uh, real, if you keep your uh, Phantom Wedge out, we'll, yeah. we'll try what... Uh, oh, how are you going faster than me right now? No idea. Hi. Is it because my vehicle's smoking? Is it when your vehicle smokes, it travels slower? That's something I, I didn't know. So. That's what it looks like. You just like overtook me, unless you have some <laughs> mod menu installed that I don't know about. Yeah, mate. That's what I've got. All right. Okay. If you just stay outside, don't damage it too much, and I'll go and get my armored box fill, and we'll try armored box fill versus the Phantom Wedge. Right now, guys, I want you to comment which vehicle out of the two, armored box fill or Phantom Wedge, do you think will win? Which comes out on top? And uh, is able to like smash the other out of the way. Uh, my money's on the Phantom Wedge because it's a bigger and faster vehicle. But the uh, armored Boxville does have a few little secret traits of its own, like it's indestructible, for example, when crashing into vehicles. Unlike the Phantom Wedge. Right. I'll first of all drive into you. You can then drive into me, and then we'll drive into each other. If you just stay where you are. I'll go and see. Maybe go, being on a hill isn't the best thing to do either, but we'll do it. Let's go. What's going to happen? Oh! Okay. <laughs> it looks like I get flipped. <laughs> Quite a lot. Right, okay. If you then drive into me, I'll go and park in the same place. Oh, I've lost the back door. All well, the back doors on my uh, armored box. So it's a shame. Right. Park by here. If you drive straight into me, let's see what happens. Uh, quite a few you guys actually saying that you think the uh, Phantom Wedge will win. Looks like that seems to be the case. What's going to happen right now? Oh, yeah. Okay, so it looks like I am the one that actually gets pushed out of the way. Although you are affected slightly, because obviously uh, I am quite a big force. Right, can you, can you stop doing that? <laughs> Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. Right, let's now drive into each other before your thing blows up. I'm trying to, like, flip it over right now. And uh, we'll get a little bit more distance on it. Oh, the way, out the way. Are you ready? Let's drive into Hold each up. other. Hold up. Oh yeah, Should oh, be yeah. Good. Should let's be go. Good. Drive yep. into each other then. I've got a feeling you're going to win this one, but let's see who wins. Oh! <laughs> okay, so we both sort of like glitched out a little bit. I flipped over, but uh, I was I was the one that had like the, the most like rebound. There was so there's more repercussions on me than on your vehicle, but there we go. Oh, yours on fire now. Okay, and I'm stuck. <laughs> I am completely stuck. Let me see if I can try and get over this little curb. No. We're stuck. We're stuck. Okay. We're going to leave that right there then. We're going to go back into our vehicle warehouses and get something else. So let's go and try another challenge. Like I said, guys, if you have any suggestions for challenges, comment right now when we get into this vehicle. If you do so as well, real, we'll make our way back to our vehicle warehouse and try something else. I think we should try something with the, uh, the Rocket Baltic this time. Yeah, remember, we got the one with the military base. We could try that. Yeah, I know someone said, uh, why didn't you try a drag race between the, the Rocket Voltic and the fastest car in game and see who wins? Because although the Rocket Voltic with the speed boost would technically become the fastest vehicle, it isn't, hasn't got like unlimited rocket boost. So in a drag race of maybe, I don't know, half a mile or so, which vehicle comes out on top? We could try that. So I'm going to get my uh, rocket coil right now. If you get yours as well, real. Uh, well, okay. first of all, we'll, we'll try something with both rocket coils, and then we'll try that drag race. Should we do it with the X80 Proto, or what, what's faster? What is the fastest car in game? Is it the... Uh, I the... think it's the X80 Proto, but... 
There is another vehicle Pickles. slightly faster, I think. I've, I've forgotten the name of it. Is it the R? Is it the R E slash seven B? Is that the vehicle that's faster? I can't remember. I don't think it's faster, but I could be wrong. Right. Well, we'll try something then with the uh, the rocket coil, and uh, we'll give that a go. Right. So, what was the, uh, the the challenge again? Remind me what you wanted to do with the rocket. So coil. we go to like that little hill over Zancuda that we could like get in there with, and right. we try to make it to the other side. Oh, so we go straight over the military yeah. base. Right. Okay, then. We'll give that a go. Let's make our way then towards the military base. And we'll see if we can do that. You know what? First, what we're going to do, we'll do a little smaller test by here. On one of these hills. And we'll just see how far we can stay in midair. I know you can travel very, very far in midair with uh, the rocket boost. If you have the right elevation. I wonder if we go from the top of Mount Chiliad. All the way to maybe Sandy Shores. You reckon that's possible as well? Maybe. It's quite far, though. I'm going to try right here, for example, how far we go. Can we make it over the road? Oh, we made, yeah, we made it over the road. I've, I've got quite high hopes we can, we can get pretty far then. What I'm going to do is I'm going to call up Pegasus and get a... Um, I'm going to get a cargo bob called in so we can make it to uh, the military base much quicker. Uh, I can't bring it right now. Oh, no, I'm calling the wrong person, not the mechanic. I want to... <laughs> I always call it the mechanic instead of Pegasus. Pegasus, where are you? Let's call up. Hello, Pegasus Lifestyle Management. There How we go. You? Right, I think that's going to be the hospital then. Let's go make our the way towards there. Activate boost here. again. We trust you'll be happy, sir. Oh! Oh, almost hit the lorry. It's okay. We we made it. We're still alive. Uh, someone said, why don't you just double boost in midair? If you didn't know, you can't actually double boost. Uh, it's not possible to do that. To actually replenish your boost. You have to have all four wheels on the ground. So if you flip That's over, for example, if you like flip over on your roof, you don't get to replenish your boost until you're on all four wheels, which is kind I of. I thought annoying. it was going to be like you could use it multiple times if you were in the air. Yeah, that would be awesome though. Imagine that if you could like go into midair and then activate it again like ten seconds later. Oh, my cargo bob is by there. Because then you could just go from like, the top of Mount Chiliad to the airport, if that was possible. I think that's why Rockstar haven't made that possible. Oh, I'm gonna park. I'm gonna park mine by here. I did, so, I did this last time. Oh, uh, so. mine just um, did it where I got to the location. Now it's not here. Oh, really? Okay, just call again. It'll probably take you down to um, the helicopter pad. Like, drive really slow, though, man. Don't go quick, because that sometimes uh, causes it to stop working. But I'm here as well. You have to remember that. So, can't jump over the hedge. It's really annoying. Uh, someone said, What happens with ramp buggy versus ramp buggy? They simply collide. We actually did a video on that a few days ago. Just go and check it out. It's on my channel right now. I think we uploaded it about three days ago. Or, yeah, Reels as well. Mm -hmm. But preferably my video. Give me the view instead. I don't because, know. Preferably uh, mine. I, I want you guys to drop a like on the video as well. Ooh. Just like you guys, you guys should as well on this stream. Drop a like. Oh, the ambulance um, helicopter. I haven't seen this one in so long. Oh, wow. First time in a while. Right, somebody asked, when are the new unreleased DLC vehicles being released? Uh, we're hoping that one gets released tomorrow. I'd imagine one every week, starting tomorrow. If it's not tomorrow, then it'll probably be the week after. But, fingers crossed. I'm looking forward to it. What vehicle are you guys looking forward to most? Is it the Trophy Nero? The new Fist to Comet Retro Custom? Uh, is it the Italy GTB? The new Diablos, not Diablos, sorry, the FCR motorcycle? Or course is it the uh, Spectre they're all very nice vehicles to be fair I'm looking forward to the uh, Trophy Nero most so uh, what about you real if you got a, a vehicle you're looking forward to yeah the Nero looks really good that and the Comet Retro Custom those two look really good yeah I do like them all though to be fair I'm not really a huge fan of motorcycles to be honest but this one does have some nice uh, customizations because it's a Benny's motorcycle why is my um, Voltic not being picked up right now Touching the roof with the... Mine uh, went, like, really easy. There we go. I got it. Right. We're going to make our way then towards the military base. We're going to see if we can go from one side of the military base with uh, with the coil voltage, the other, without actually touching the ground. That's what we're going to try and do right now. Uh, you guys right now are commenting your the vehicles you're looking forward to most. Most people, by the looks of things, are saying the uh, either the Nero or the Comet. Yeah, I can definitely understand why. Uh, I just got a feeling that the um, the Comet uh, liveries, they just aren't that good. I don't know if you guys saw my live stream the other day, where I actually customized all the unreleased vehicles uh, in story mode, because you can 
get them in there through mods. Uh, there are some like very very disappointing liveries available for it. I guess it's kind of the same with the uh, the new Trophade Nero. I think the Trophade Nero, Trophade Nero. There we go. Speak finally. Uh, looks much much better without a livery, but maybe that's just me. But yeah, shark, um, shouts to Shark Attack for giving us this idea that we're about to do. We're going to go to that hill over by Fort Zancudo and try to get to the other side, making our way there now. Let's see, it's taking quite some time. This is our like third cargo bob trip. Someone said, when will you be doing shoutouts? As always, guys, shoutouts take place at the end of the stream. So pretty much when we run out of challenges, which hopefully won't be anytime soon. Just keep commenting right now if you have any ideas for challenges or stunts, and we'll definitely try them out. But after this one, we're going to do a little drag race between uh, the Coil Rocket Voltic and the fastest car in game, which I'm pretty sure is the ER, or is it the RE-7B? But uh, if we haven't got one of those in the garage, we'll probably just use the X80 Proto, which is also pretty fast. Uh, someone said, why don't you try and use the, uh, or like activate the boost in midair whilst transporting the coil rocket bolt with a cargo bob? If you guys didn't know, I actually did this in a, in a video the other day, like a old 10 things you don't know video, you can't do that. When you have it hooked up, you can't activate the boost. Rockstar have disabled that, which is kind of annoying, because that would have been awesome. Imagine now, if uh, someone was sitting in the car and activated it, would be like flown really fast to the left, but that doesn't actually happen. You can't activate boost, which is really disappointing. Uh, I can see you like to my right, real, like on the mini map, but I can't actually see you in game. It's just like, look around a little bit. Where are you? I see you. I'm a little bit below you. Below me. I can never see you, man. Below me. Oh, there you are. I can see. You got the Jet Sam cargo bob. You're always much, much lower down to the ground than me, man. How is that? Enter. Uh, iMad said, Hi, Kelly. Like, it's my first live stream. Well, hello. Welcome. Hopefully, you're enjoying it. Apologies if I am the most boring person on planet Earth, but uh, that's me. No, no, Welcome. no. That's me. I don't know. Debatable. I'm sure you guys would uh, like to vote that right now in the comments. Me or real? Who's more boring? <laughs> It's Sarah. definitely me. I've been told I don't really speak a lot during my streams. Well, I it's mainly because Sam here doesn't like to stop talking. Oh, sorry. I I like the spotlight, you know? <laughs> yeah, I, I can see. Apologies, mate. Oh, we're going to have to... I'm accidentally going down towards the military base and not the hill on the other side. Should we go to the top of the hill on the other side? Like this one back um, here? We could go all the way to the top. Was that going to be too far away? I got a feeling that's too far. We should probably go from... Maybe slightly further down, because by the time we activate the boost from up there, we won't even be at the bottom of the uh, the hill. So maybe we should go from somewhere like here. Maybe like a nice little bit of flat ground, ideally. Or maybe, um... Maybe use the ramp over here. You know the ramp? Um... So we, we drive up the hill, activate yeah. the boost. Yeah, we'll do that first of all, and then we'll try one of these hills by here. Right, we're going to land the car by here. Oh, loads of police around here right now because I've got a four-star one to level. Just call up my good old friend Lester. Oh, oh no, no! I know what's going to happen. I'm going to spawn in and oh no, the car hasn't been taken away from me. I thought because I had a one to level, it was going to get impounded or just taken away. So it was. Neil says like spike. You know, we'll never say no to a like spike. Drop a like. For me, we're at 81, so we're 20 away from our goal. That's like 10% of me right now, man. I'm at. Uh... Uh, 888. So yeah, we're, we're pretty, we're pretty close. I told you, of... my channel is like, um, Ooh. take all of your numbers and just get rid of the last number on them, and <laughs> yeah. that's me. Yes, man. We're actually uh, doing pretty good right now. Right, uh, we got a lot of cars falling in. Let's try then, first of all, to use the boost to go over the ramp that's like by the the fences and fly over the military base. I'm pretty sure we can do this, but then we'll try something slightly harder. We'll go from maybe one of those hills over there. We'll try this first of all to see how long the boost lasts. Okay, you ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. That was actually a really disappointing start. <laughs> I was waiting for like wheel spin and a nice boost forward. Okay, here we go. Here we we're gonna activate it as soon as we touch the hill. Three, two, one, go, 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 go. Oh yeah, we we've nailed it, man. I'm not gonna go in the sea. Oh. No! I'm gonna go in the sea. <laughs> oh no. Oh come on, go back out, go out, go out, go oh, out. Oh no. Come on. come on. Oh no. Oh so close. So close. God damn it. I wasn't expecting to go quite that far. <laughs> so close. Oh, you know what we're going to do now, man? We have to wait five minutes to deliver another <laughs> one. <laughs> Look how close mine was to land. 
Oh man. Man, I'm so far out. I tried, man, I tried. Someone just goes like straight up as opposed to far. At that distance, we could definitely go from one side of the furthest point to the other. It's definitely possible. Look how close, man. Oh my god. <laughs> like a couple meters away, man. Oh, the SWAT team are coming out. Okay, right. Well, what can we do in the meantime then to uh, to wait for this we, request? We could, time? of course, go for a like spy. Well, I'll never say no to that, man. We're actually uh, very close to my like goal right now. That's awesome. Oh, a police boat. We haven't seen one of those in quite some time. Let's take, take it. Take out that guy. Uh, there we go. Right. Let's. Uh, where, where can we fly? Oh, drive towards. Should we go back towards the uh, the city. Yeah, why not? Okay, we can get into the police boat. I haven't actually been in one of these in quite some time. Right, if you uh, drive. Or am uh, I gonna no, nope. just put me in the passenger for no reason? <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, if you can take out these police for me. Actually, no, we'll just call up Lester. There's no point struggling when you can have uh, things much, much easier for yourself. If you guys, again, have any suggestions for challenges, let us know right now. Otherwise, we'll get straight into these Which speed tests. Uh, we have to actually drive away right now from the uh, military base to go and get into the vehicle. So. Uh, we can't do that uh, flying over the military base just yet, but we will go back later on, hopefully, if we don't forget, and give that a try. And, uh, so that's actually really impressive. They didn't realize it was going to fly that far. Yeah, it definitely that boost definitely lasts a very long time. A lot longer than you might expect. It's probably around about maybe four or five seconds or so. Okay, uh, someone said, why don't you try going from the top of Mount Chiliad to the airport with the Runa 2000? Funny enough, we've already done that. We did that right at the start of the stream. So just like go back in the live stream and you can see that. And we did make it. We made it first time, which I thought was pretty impressive. We then tried to get on top of Maze Bank, which didn't quite work, unfortunately. Uh, I was very, very close, but not quite there. And uh, someone said, let Real speak, because you always speak. So, uh, Real, um, I'll, um, I'll let you do some talking then. So, Real, tell us uh, something nice about the game. What do you like about the update? Um, I really like the ability to go for like spikes. Like, it's definitely the greatest feature included in the update, you know, me for like. And that's but exactly why I like... don't put you in charge of talking, because if Real <laughs> no, was in, in charge of talking. I'm loving the new vehicles. Like, we got um, the Ruiner 2000, the kit car. That's honestly one of my favorites. Really glad that they've added this. I did mention this in the last stream, but, like, we've gotten more things that aren't really that realistic, which is still cool. Like, there's more, like, fun vehicles. We've not really seen that before. Yeah, vehicles from, from different movies, basically. That's what I've, I've always seen it as. Like, many of these vehicles we received, like the, the Ram Car, the Wastelander, oh. uh, the Elegy, that's all of those vehicles right there are sort of like inspired from vehicles in uh, Fast and Furious. Of course, you've got Kit Car, which is uh, from a TV show, Knight Rider, which also became a movie. Uh, what else have we got? We have the Rocket Coil. I'm not too sure which movie that's from. Someone did tell me and I've already forgotten, so apologies. But, uh, yeah, they're all pretty much inspired from different movies Yeah, and, and usually shows. we get, like, realistic vehicles, but now we've actually gotten something fun, which is crazy. I hope they do more like that in the future. Yeah, it's unlike Rockstar. Uh, someone said, uh, you didn't try the landing a, uh, Runa 2000 on the, the tugboat. We, we haven't tried that yet. Yeah, we're going to give that a try, don't worry. We'll do that. But we're going to go and do the uh, fastest car against the Rocket Coil, uh, the Rocket Voltic, sorry, in a, in a drag race and see who wins. I'm... Oh, no, don't kill him, don't kill him. My boy Lester's not going to be too happy with us. Oh, it's okay, we haven't got a monster level. All right, hopefully when we get towards the beach, we can now uh, call this in. If you want to just like call up your mechanic and see if you've still got the X80 Proto or the ER... Or the RE-7B, let me know. I think the uh, the RE-7B is the fastest car, but I could be wrong. Uh, Jack asks, I can't can call we him to join? Oh, okay, that would make sense. Jack asks, can we join? Uh, we can if you have the uh, the Visual V graphics enhancer installed like we do. Otherwise, you can't. But we're in a public session, so it's possible if you have that graphics enhancer installed. Uh, we're going to go towards land then, the road by here. I'll get my uh, Coil Voltic, and uh, you can get your uh, X80 Proto or RE-7B, we'll give it a try. Yeah, we're, we're going to try and, oh, someone said try and land the Voltic on your yacht. That's going to be very difficult to do, plus, uh, if you don't get it right first time, you got to wait five minutes to get another one delivered, so that uh, could be difficult, but we'll give it a try though. We have one lying around nearby, we'll give it a try. Um, right, so let me go on to my menu. Oh, I can call on a vehicle already. Sweet. Okay, rocket. 
Baltic. Hopefully that's going to be delivered. I don't know if you've noticed, but... I have an RE7B, but I don't think it's customized. Should I call it anyway? Uh, no. Get the XD Pro to them, man. Okay. We want the fastest car that you have. I don't know if you've noticed, but when you request a vehicle from the menu, the, uh, one of the new special vehicles, it takes longer than if you call up your mechanic and request a vehicle from him. Obviously, you can't get the special vehicles from your mechanic, but that's what I've noticed. It takes like an extra 10 seconds or so. Maybe I'm over-exaggerating that, but that's what I've noticed. Right, uh, are you going to get in the vehicle? Right. Right, we're going to make our way then... Actually, no, should we do it right by here? I know. Or should we go, or should we go to the airport? Well, I think we'll try I think by here first. Would be best, but we'll, we try, we'll, just try we'll, here. we'll try a little test by here, but we'll go to the airport and do it properly. Right, let me just throw a grenade. We'll go back to a grenade. And as soon as it explodes, accelerate. So it's first... Oh, that's a sticky bomb, my bad. So as soon as it explodes, you want to go towards... Oh, he shot me. Yeah, uh, first into the tunnel, basically, okay? Yeah. Ready? So, three, two, one. Activate! Oh. This is definitely mine, man. This is definitely <laughs> mine. <laughs> Keep on going, though. Right, okay, so, this short stretch is mine. Okay, I think it's safe to say I've won this by a mile, man. There's no way. No way you're gonna win this. Keep on driving, though. Keep on driving. Oh, no! Oh, these police are getting in the way. Actually, we're going to activate right now. Oh, oh, that was a massive fail. I thought we'd be able to just, like, knock him out of the way. Let's go this way. Get rid of him. Okay, so by the looks of things, things then, guys, the uh, Rocket Voltic is much, much faster in a drag race than any other vehicle because you can use the boost. Obviously, the boost gives you that speed. But even though the Rocket Voltic normally, driving like uh, right now, for example, uh, isn't that fast, in a drag race because it's so fast with the boost you can just get a massive lead and always win unless of course it's such a long drag race but even then you can just use a boost again in about 10 seconds so I think it's safe to say this is the vehicle to use in a race most definitely uh, someone said get your dick out for Harambe I think that's uh, a dead meme so um, leave it be uh, someone said this is their first live stream just wondering uh, can the cargo ball pick up a delivery truck in a solo cocaine mission? Um, good question. No idea. Never tried it. I've actually never played any of the uh, the biker like drug missions. I've never actually done any producing either. I've never done any of that sort of thing. So I have no idea. If someone knows though, comment right now and let us know. Because uh, someone wants to know. I've forgotten who it was. Apologies. I didn't see the name. The comment's already disappeared from my screen. Stop the car now. No, I'm going to go inside my warehouse and lose the cops. Right. Next challenge, guys. What suggestions do you guys have? Uh, someone said, can you jump over skyscrapers on the BMX? Um, we're, we're doing special vehicles, so please give us some special vehicle suggestions. Hmm. I think what we'll do right now is we'll use the, uh, the, 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 the Ruiner 2000. That's the one. To try and land on the tugboat. So get your Ruiner 2000 from your warehouse. We're going to go and call up Pegasus and get a tugboat. And we're going to try and land on one of those. Oh, we could always do it on the yacht, I guess. Should we try and do it on the yacht instead? I like yachts. Well, let's say that my yacht is up by the military base. I don't want to drive up there, so we'll use the tugboat. <laughs> Can't be bothered. Okay, let's uh, call up my good old friends over at Pegasus. Where are you? So, yeah, you oh. get your Ruiner 2000. Oh, I can activate on you right now. I'm going to call up Ooh, Pegasus. Where are you? Down the bottom. There we go. And we're going to go and get the uh, tugboat. Any second. Right, hopefully I still have one. Uh, tugboat. There you are, tug. Sweet. Okay, right. I got worried then. It said it was unavailable, but uh, it had already been delivered. Nearest harbour. Okay, it's going to be the docks. Right. Have you got your vehicle yet? Real. Going to get it now. Sweet. Oh, there's the train. Can the Ruiner 2000 stop the train with its eight rockets? Uh, let's probably quickly go across the railway tracks over here. Uh, someone said, am I allowed to make a suggestion? Of course you can. If you guys have any ideas or suggestions for challenges, like I said, you're more than welcome to give us some suggestions. And if you do come up with a good suggestion, if I see the name, I'll give you a shout out. Sounds like a pretty good deal to me. Uh, Rory said, 
Why you try and jump over the maze bank with the parachute car? We actually tried that already. Uh, we were very unsuccessful, unfortunately. We tried to go from the top of uh, Mount Chiliad to try and land on the back. Or on the, on the front, sorry. Not the front, the top. What am I saying? What am I saying? <laughs> but no, it was unsuccessful, unfortunately. Right, I think the uh, tugboat is in here. Okay. It's inside the uh, Merryweather area. Right, I think what we'll do... Where should we place the tugboat? Should we place the tugboat out to sea? So we have this nice stretch of uh, road by here. Yeah, that seems like a good plan. Right, we're going to park that by there. And we'll get the tugboat, which is on the other side. Can I go through this door? I'm pretty sure we can. Someone said, if I had a dollar for every single gender there was, I'd have two dollars. <laughs> and then someone responded back saying there's 63 genders. So he'd have $63. Ooh. These are... Oh, no. I'm dead. What? How'd you die? The Merryweather people shot me. I'm trying to get my tugboat right now. They don't like it when I'm I'm trying to get my own vehicle from their warehouse area. Thanks. Oh. I'm lucky. Oh. <laughs> what? I walked through the door. Got around oh. the corner. Bang. <laughs> dead. Okay. I think we'll have to uh, fight back this time because simply walking in isn't working. I'm actually shooting right now. I can hear gunfire. I don't know who they're shooting at. But real, I need your help. Get my tugboat. You coming in? Should I'll help you from right here, mate. Oh, actually, I've, I've gone in the wrong door. <laughs> wrong one, right here. Right, we're going to try then and get the uh, the Runa 2000 to land on the tugboat. We're going to place it out of sea somewhere. It's actually gone really misty right now, so I won't go too far out. But fingers crossed we can land it on there. Yeah, yeah, mate, don't go more. in yet. Don't go in. Don't go in. Thanks, mate. See, that's why you shouldn't it. Appreciate it. I just thought <laughs> I was I was waiting for backup. I thought you were gonna be a nice friend. Right, so instead, just try and do some nice stunts with all the cars. Oh. I guess we could always try and do some stunts on some of the ramps, but you know we want to go oh. some crazy challenges. The area's all clear, man. It is. Yep, okay. you're all good. Nice. Enjoy. Thanks for that, mate. How many people yep. did you kill? There's only like one person dead. Where'd everyone go? I bet I'm gonna go down here now and there's gonna be loads of people. <laughs> There's my tugboat. All that, just for the tugboat. Right, hopefully in about 50 million years we can put this into position, because this thing is very slow. This is almost night time right now, so hopefully by daytime it'll be in position and ready. I'm gonna place, uh, place it in this direction as well, so we can land our Bruna 2000s. Oh. Oh. Back. What's wrong? What's wrong, man? Gonna need a new vehicle. Really? You've just. <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Guys, this guy is useless. You now so have to wait five minutes. The thing is, whenever I'm playing GTA and I'm a little bit bored, just like waiting for you to do something, I'll just like jump around on my Runner 2000. So I got caught in a staircase and then tried to go back and landed in water. <laughs> right, uh, I'm trying nice. to reverse right now and this is how fast we're going. Let's go foot a minute. Is this going to be too far or not far enough? I think we'll try nice and close first of all. And then we'll try further away. Uh, Jake asked, have you seen the new car duplication glitch? No, I haven't. I don't watch that sort of thing anymore. Because uh, that gets you banned. Don't do it. Ooh. Watch out. But what you can do is drop a like in the stream. And who knows? Yes. You might just uh, get yourself $100 million in GTA 5. Alright, I'm going to try from here, first of all. Has it, if you guys drop a like, Santa will hack your GTA Online account and give you millions. My second channel, uh, I said that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, don't fall off again. Nice. Right, okay, let's make our way then over to my Runa 2000, because uh, this uh, GTA level right here has already crashed his Runa 2000. Alright, let's go up the... Oh, I can hear some Merryweather people right now. What are they saying? I've got a visual. You haven't. I can't see you. Right. Okay. Um. Hey, this guy's screaming quite loud. Hopefully that tugboat's not too far away. Well, what we're gonna do then is use that little trick. We're gonna go nice and close here. We're gonna use the uh, like little elevation trick. So we're gonna go backwards, jump. Oh no, wrong button. I press space bar, not the uh, E key. <laughs> nice. Okay, here we go. Backwards, jump, activate parachute, and lean backwards. And we're facing the wrong way. 
You're not gonna make that. Come on. I don't think. Come on. We're gonna do it. Oh. We did it. Yes. Oh. We did it, guys. Sunk the tugboat. You what? You just sunk the tugboat on my street. What? <laughs> on my you screen. You went into it and it was just submerged in water. Really? On my screen, yeah. it's fine. You know what that means? How to sink the tugboat. There we go, guys. First time we got the uh, the ruiner on the back of the, uh, the tugboat. Although it wasn't very far away, and I didn't think I was going to make it, but we did it. That was pretty good. Obviously, it would be more challenging to go from further away. So we could try somewhere else. Let's try and find somewhere nice that we can go and use this. Can I shoot? Oh, you can actually shoot from uh, inside the tugboat. I'm not technically in. Oh, well, I'm on the tugboat driving right now. Shoot those people. Oh, they're actually getting me right now. Let's see if we can shoot these merry weather people. Come on. He's in the worst. Oh! What's going on? Oh, no! What's going on? He's flipping over on me. I'm about to lose my. No! We're about to lose my ruiner. Oh, no. Are you in the water? Oh, <laughs> uh, you've tipped it, man. I didn't know this was a feature. Let me just try and, like, tip it the other way. Because my ruiner right now is going to fall off. There we go. It gets very, very glitchy when you have a car on your tugboat. I'm telling you, you actually synced it. I didn't know that was the thing. Well, on my screen, it's perfectly fine. I'm operating it right now. No, we're good for now. But earlier, when you landed it on, it, like, went completely underwater. Yeah, it must just be, uh... Oh! <laughs> Mate, it's so glitchy. It again. What happens if I get in it? I'm curious. Um, I don't know. It might stop it. Hopefully it does. Oh, oh no, it put us underwater. No, no. It may <laughs> don't. <laughs> Maybe get out of the vehicle, man. It's getting very glitchy right now. <laughs> uh, apparently I killed you. <laughs> I, I don't know how, but Hi. I killed you. No. Wait, hold on. Um, I can still reach you. Don't worry. What I'm going to try and do right now is park it alongside this wall. I'm going to try and jump up in my ruiner if it doesn't fall off right now. I'm going to try and place it on land again. I probably should turn it around. I'm going to try, uh, try and turn it around first of all because it's facing the wrong way. So let's, let's do that. Hopefully now in a, a few years time it'll do it. Any second now. Uh, Jimmy said he's got to go. Goodbye Jimmy. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, James said he dropped a like. Thank you, James. We're actually very close to my like goal right now. I have a thousand likes. Two likes away from mine. I'm ten likes away from mine, man. You gonna get on? Ooh. Trying. Any second now, man. Today would be good. There we go. He's on. So much damage being done to this tugboat. I'm trying to reverse. We're gonna try and, like, reverse against this so we can use the ruiner. To get onto land. I'm not gonna let you do it, Reels. I know what you're gonna do. You're gonna fucking crash it into water. So. Oh, is this technically destroyed? Because I can't get in it. I hope not. On my screen, then it's fine. No, no. Oh! I got a feeling I'm gonna get up to perfect position. It's just gonna fall off. Oh, no! Oh. What's going on? <laughs> oh, it's so glitchy right now. This is pretty interesting. Right. Right, there let's... we go. We've just hit our goal. We're at 100 likes. Thank you, guys. There let's, we go. Let's leave it there. It's the best thing to do. Okay, right. Oh, why can I not jump over that? Oh, <laughs> mm. oh, it's super glitchy. Let's get into my. Can you get in that? Oh, I hope so. Why is it? Oh, it's not working. I can smash the window. I think it must be. Oh, thanks, mate. I think it yeah. must be stuck under the stairs. Okay, on in the game, it's like glitched out. It's stuck. So let me try and move that. If we can't, then unfortunately, my little. Um, I could try getting another car and then hitting it with it. Try and like. Move forward. I'm try getting out. Oh, nice, mate. Hopefully, I'm gonna try getting a car and seeing what happens. If I can get it on there and like push into it. I think it's just completely stuck, man. Is there any vehicles over here? I'm waiting for it to just completely destroy things. Oh yeah, by the way, we just smashed a thousand likes. Thank you so so much, guys. You are awesome. Uh, so once the ruiner can float, I'm I'm pretty sure that's not true. <laughs> I know it can float in midair. That's what it keeps doing. Of course, there's no cars anywhere. Oh, of course not, man. We're in like a dead zone right now. Uh, let me try requesting something then. I'm trying to reverse it right now so we can park it alongside. It's taking so long. Uh, someone said try and do the exact same thing, but rather than using the Ruler 2000, use the, the coil rocket Voltic. Uh, we could, but I kind of want to try something else. Damn, wait up, wait up. Oh. 
I'm trying to... I'm trying to, like, bring it back in so I can get it back into my car. I think it's just completely stuck right now. Bring it to a stop, mate. I'm trying to, like, bring it nice and close, man. There we go. I'm just going to crash into the wall. There we go. Try and jump on it now. Oh! Nice. <laughs> on my screen, not only did you miss, you also knocked my ruiner off. This guy is the most <laughs> useless piece of shit. Oh, planet Earth. oh my god. You just wasted all that time. Go right now, guys. Right now. Comment. I don't know. We hate real. Hashtag we hate real because. No. <laughs> I'd have to wait five minutes for another Ruiner 2000. Oh my god, man. Uh, someone said, please read the chats. You never do it. I do read the chats. I'm reading right now. If you guys have any good suggestions, we'll definitely try them out. So, comment any more suggestions you have. Because we're going to need something else. Real has just ruined that one right there. Thanks, man. Let's go up the ladder. Oh, greatly appreciated, man. He's ruined it even more. <laughs> right, let's see. What He's can gonna... we do? I'm going to try and get myself another vehicle. Can we even request anything? I'm going to wait five minutes. Four minutes to go. Okay, what can we do in four minutes? Well, we can go for another like spike, of course. Yeah, that's what we can do. <laughs> like spike, let's see if we can hit 150 now. Why not? All right, my chat's saying we hate chaotic. Gonna have to agree with you on that one. No. Got people commenting we hate real. We're spelling real wrong. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, let's uh, just spawn in a regular vehicle and we're gonna drive back towards um, our warehouse so we can get another vehicle to spawn in. Mechanic, there you are. Uh, I'm gonna get a Tempesta to spawn in. I haven't driven around that in one of those in quite some time. You need huh? The question is, where is my know. Tempesta? It's not there. I think I actually lost my Tempesta. Oh, I'm oh, there it is. It's destroyed. Okay. I, got okay. Stuff to do. I thought maybe Rockstar had removed it. I was actually talking about that yesterday, how Rockstar are removing cars. Mate, can you stop trying to kill me? <laughs> Alright, let's get that vehicle. There it is, service? down here. Okay, office one. I'm still on fire. There we go. Right, I need to request my personal That's vehicle good. now. Vehicles request. There we go. Where is it? Where's my Tempesta? What have you got? What are you going to do? I knew you were going to fucking do that! This guy's a prick! <laughs> oh I was actually trying to go next to you. If you're watching real stream right now, please drop a dislike. No. Where's my car? I, I Sam, think... look out my window. You've just glitched it out. My car is nowhere to be seen. Get in. I'm being serious, man. You. <laughs> my car no longer exists. Get in. Get in. <laughs> Mate. Yeah. Of course, the one time I tried not to kill you and I hit you that time. Typical. Where are you going? Go We're back to the vehicle to warehouse, man. Okay. Oh, I just checked the uh, next available uh, request time and it was 4.20. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, so because you killed me as my vehicle was being delivered, it no longer exists. It's nowhere to be seen. <laughs> I bet you it's gone from mechanic. Last to time, find new one. last time you fucked something up, mate. We had to stop the stream. <laughs> we had to start again because the game was completely broken. Yeah, so I'm don't not you dare do shit like that again to me, man. Otherwise, he's gonna be replaced. I'm gonna get someone else. You know what? We'll get a Mixbox in. Mixbox is in every single stream commenting, so maybe Mixbox would like to take over his place. You know what, oh. Mixbox? If you're watching right now, let me know. Do you want to try and replace Real in these streams? Because this guy, <laughs> he's annoying me so much. Enter. It's not banter, man. It's annoying. I am joking, right? I'm not that annoyed. I am slightly, a little bit. <laughs> Alright, turn right by here, mate. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, just... Yeah, go here. Go here. Go here. <laughs> this this guy doesn't know where he's going, so i got to tell him where he's got to drive. Rory said it's his birthday. Happy birthday, Happy man. Happy birthday. <laughs> Watch this now, man. Everyone in the chat's going to be like, it's my birthday, too. And it won't be their birthday, so just saying it. Somebody asked when the new car's coming out. They're out right now, man. They're out right now. It's a DLC. I'm joking. They aren't out yet. Hopefully one's going to come out tomorrow, but we'll have to wait and see. If it does come out tomorrow, I will, of course, be live streaming the moment it does come out. And uh, I'll do the customizations of it, go through some of the best features, of course, and so on. Someone said, do you support Swansea? No, I don't. Swansea is a terrible football club. Right, uh, what are we getting? Mixbox is watching, and he said he'd happily replace Real. Ooh, okay, no. good. 
Um, yes, if you'd like to, to replace him, let me know right now on Twitter. Just send me a message and uh, we'll make that be the case. Tomorrow, when you guys watch, Mixbox is going to be joining us instead of real. <laughs> well, I guess I could take this opportunity to self-advertise then. Uh, no, you most definitely <laughs> cannot. Right, let's try let's something bring else back then. 2007 and say rate, comment, subscribe. <laughs> okay, what challenges can we do right now then, guys? What challenges? Uh, let me try and think. What, what can we do? Someone saying jump Fort Zancudo with the Ruiner 2000. Uh, Most likely be able to, though. I mean, if you're able to get it, they add all the way to the airport. I've got one. Let's try and get a vehicle on the back of the Wastelander. I'll get my Wastelander. You get the uh, the Ruiner 2000, because we should jump it straight on the back. And let's see okay. if we can place it on the back of the Ruiner 2000. I'm ready. I want you to um, attack me from behind. Homo, no homo. Right, okay. You, I'm going to just park it by here. You try and place your Ruiner 2000 on the back. Something I have been meaning to try for quite some time. No. <laughs> you right, i got to do it from further back. Okay. Go maybe five meters behind. Maybe like a meter behind like you were. Yeah, a little bit closer than that. Something like Go this from... might actually do. Okay. Oh, nice. a little further back. A little further back. Maybe don't even activate the, um, the parachute at all, man. Just like jump on the back. Potentially. Go where the arrow is. Like go on top of the arrow and just jump. And I'll try and reverse if I need to. On uh, so you get on. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. there we go. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, I just, I just... oh, oh, <laughs> oh no. That was glitchy. Try again. Try again. You're on, pretty much. We did it. Okay, keep driving forward. Keep driving forward. We've got him on. I have to hold down RT no matter what. Oh, I gotta go very slow though, man. I can't go full speed at all. What if we try and get something like really big on the back? Like, um, maybe like a truck or something. If we get a truck on the back where it's like solid, you can't move it at all. Should we try that? Should we get... What, what would fit on the back of here, like perfectly? And would take up all the space? Well, you... it doesn't really matter what's gonna fit. What matters is how are we gonna do it? I mean, we could get like a cargo bag or something, but... Um, maybe a ramp or something? If I reverse around, look, you don't fall off. There you go, guys. That's how you do the tow tro truck online. Oh, that's easy. What if we, um... Yeah, but maybe by here, for example. You got these... If you go and get your box fill. Go and get the box fill right now. Or maybe... What about the Phantom Wedge? Oh, when he's not in the car, I can I can drive around much easier without it falling out. You say that as I see it in the corner yeah, of the Yeah, but it's because I was like, trying to... I was trying to wriggle it free. Oh, there's a, there's a cement truck by here. Let me see if I can get this on the back. All right, so what? Phantom Wedge or Boxville? Uh, let's try the Phantom Wedge first of all. I think it's a... No, Boxville. Go for the Boxville first of all. Okay. Um, because the Phantom Wedge is going to be maybe slightly too long. This guy's trying to kill me right now. Billy Dawson says, tell Chaotic I hate him. Um, hey, Chaotic, Billy Dawson hates you. Uh, can you, like, pass on a message to him for me? Yeah, go for it. And just say, um, haters gonna hate, master's gonna bait. Thanks, mate. Appreciate That's it. a nice one. No problem, mate. Boxville, I think that's this. Someone said, are you going to be doing yes, a live stream on Christmas Eve? Uh, yes, I will be. And I also intend to do a, uh, a live stream on Christmas Day itself. I'm not too sure if I'm actually going to do one yet. Uh, it all depends on, on how busy I am, I guess. I know another family want to see me. I haven't seen my family in uh, some time. <laughs> I've been too busy with the DLC. But uh, no, hopefully. If you can get into my... Uh, truck right now. I'm gonna try and get the cement truck on the, the back of the wastelander first of all. Then we'll try the box fill. I've got a feeling we might be slightly too long with this vehicle, but it should be just wide enough. Right, let's do a little jump on. Here we go. Hopefully we get there. Let's here we go. Oh, oh. Yeah, we're, we're, we're too long. Oh, oh wait, wait. Uh, wait, yeah, maybe I, just like this. Oh yeah, go. that works. Okay, drive forward just very slowly. I'll hold down the accelerator. We're doing oh, it. Nice. <laughs> We're doing it! Guys, we have the cement truck on the back. It's not quite filling up all the space like I was hoping it would. But we're stuck on there. I'm holding down the accelerator. Oh, it's glitching out a lot. Oh, right, I fall off. Oh, we've fallen off. Okay, just let go of me right now. We're going to try the boxville instead. I'll get into your boxville. Let's see if we can get that on the back. That's slightly wider, so hopefully... And it's not too long either. Hopefully we can do it. Should we... I think I'll reverse it on the back. We won't drive straight on. We'll reverse it on the back. So the wedge is uh, hanging off the back, hopefully. 
Let's see if that works. Okay, here we go. Oh, what to miss it? Yeah. <laughs> I'll miss it by a mile. Can you just like drive? There we go. We're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. Yes, we got it on, guys. The Boxville is on. Sweet. Right, let's drive around. I'm holding down reverse right now, just in case. Don't go too quickly. Just like tap the accelerator so we stay on. That's yeah, what I'm doing. We're doing it. I wonder what happens if I let go of the accelerator. Should we try it? No. I'm letting go. Oh, it doesn't like fall off completely, but it just begins to slide off. <laughs> We're going up a hill right now, man. That's like so dangerous. Oh my God, we are actually, let's go into uh, cinematic mode. We're smoking quite a lot. I'm not sure if that's just like the accelerator, the gas coming out of the uh, the exhaust. Oh! Going to cinematic mode. Oh, oh, you're pushing me into the gate. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, just stay on the road. Just stay on the road. Oh no! Oh no! Careful, mate. Careful. Oh, are we gonna be able to keep it on? Let's see how far we can drive for before we fall off. Maybe go downhill, man. Going up hills is not uh, the easiest thing to do. Who is this? Oh, when you oh, do no. that? No. <laughs> oh. Why, man? Why? You should just like stop and wait for the car to go. Right, should we try a different vehicle this time? Let's try and find yeah. something bigger. What's, what's wider than the box fill? Oh. What if we get your box fill? Oh, your uh, wasteland on the box? On, on the box? <laughs> on the back of my wastelander. Should we try that? Yeah, why not? Wastelander on wastelander. I'm not too sure how much wider the wheels are than the back of that thing, but we can give it a try. Let's go. Someone said, um, where do you live? I'm not a pedo. <laughs> I'll give you my exact address, mate. Uh, I live in a place known as Cardiff, which is in uh, the UK. I've actually done a, a few videos where I've talked about that before anyway, so I'll give you that information. Right. If you go inside, then I go and get your Wastelander. Yep. I'll get into mine. See if we can get your Wastelander on the back of my Wastelander. And drive around. I've got a feeling it might be slightly too wide. The wheel uh, base is quite wide. You know what's also wind? Your uh, 380 pound weight. Ooh, ouch. Alright, let me know when you're ready. I'll just like park it up by here. By here. You can probably like, drive straight onto the back of it because it's such a good vehicle. Uh, someone said Drive faster than the rocket with the rocket coil Voltic. What? What? Drive faster than the rocket with the rocket coil of Baltic. <laughs> okay. Oh, mate, sure. <laughs> Done. Oh! Over it. <laughs> right, try again, mate. Try again. You can just drive over this thing. You can drive <laughs> over itself. That's how big this thing is. Okay, right, try again. You might have to, like, position it. Oh, there we go. Oh, I don't know if you were in or not. And Oh! Okay, I'll go up the hill this time. See if I can get on the back of yours. Okay, I'm gonna try and like place it sideways, I think. Nope. <laughs> nice. Right, there we go. If you like... Yeah, stay there, stay there, stay there. It's perfect. Oh, no. Try one more time. And no. <laughs> What if I like maybe place it upside down, or maybe sideways like that? <laughs> okay, we need, we need like a slightly thinner vehicle than this, but still pretty wide. Guys, any suggestions right now for a vehicle that's wide, but not too wide? We've tried a cement truck that wasn't oh. wide enough. The box fill's not wide enough. What else can we try? Oh, there, the uh, the waste truck. That one up there. Is that wide? It's pretty wide, right? Okay, let's try and get this to stop. I'm here, buddy. If you make your way to me real, I'm gonna get this right now. Okay, oh! Don't tip. Now, real will most likely have to set a waypoint, because he has no idea how to get here. <laughs> right, where are you? Oh, there you are, you're right next to me. I didn't even see you there. Oh, hey, YouTube. I didn't see you there. <laughs> hey, YouTube, didn't see you there. Drop a like. <laughs> And that's why I have real in these streams, to remind me to ask you guys to drop a like. Yes, that's uh, my sole purpose in life. Right, if you like park yourself on the other end of this hill, at the bottom of it, don't come up with me. 
Mate, he's fucking useless. We definitely get this guy replaced. You go to the bottom <laughs> of the hill. That's how it works. I wouldn't just be driving up the hill for banter. <laughs> right, here we go, here we go. Oh no, he's moving himself! Bollocks. Nice. Thanks, mate. We need like a smaller hill. What's smaller? I know we should go dick, back to where we were. Your dick's pretty small, but that's that's not really much of a hill, is it? Probably not enough. Enough, is it really? Alright, let's go down here. And we'll go back to that original hill. I know you're going to be there in like three seconds because you've got a pretty uh, sick off-road truck. But hold up. I'm driving the uh, little prick's truck. You know what's also a little prick? You? A little prick. Oh. No. It also says um, <laughs> butt lovers on one side. <laughs> <laughs> also you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, mate. Like right. the trucks in GTA just have like the greatest names. Amazing. That new car, mate. The penetrator. That's that's what it's all about. Are you ready? Go for it. Let's see if we can get this on the back. I got a feeling it's gonna be way too long. Like my dick. Oh. Try forward. No, we're just too long. It's too long. That's what your your mum said last night. What if we try and reverse it on there instead? That's what I'm doing. Well, I'm reversing. <laughs> no. No, you go go down the end. I'm going to turn it around. I'm going to try and put the back wheels on it instead. Right, here we go. Let's see if we can try and put this in there now. I've got a feeling because most of the weight's up front by the looks of things. I'll we'll give it a try. Fingers cross. Oh, Dom's calling. Go away. There we go. No. <laughs> we're being dragged around, but uh, we're not on the actual wastelander. It's too long. We need something like this, slightly wider. And that would work. Someone said, why don't you try and get four wastelanders and put the dump truck on each one? Oh, so like oh. each wheel on the back of the wastelander. Mm -hmm. Slight issue with that idea. We don't have two friends. <laughs> yeah, we would need four people. But maybe in a, in a future stream, if you guys really enjoy this type of stream. And we'll if get, we like find more friends. And we get more friends, we'll get, we'll go and try that. That would be really awesome, yeah. That would be like a pretty good challenge. All right, we're gonna try one more challenge then, guys, and I think we're gonna do some shoutouts. How does that sound? Fantastic. Right, what can we do? One more challenge. Any suggestions, real? Anything you got in mind? Anyone right here? Um. Uh, someone asked. Thinking. Oh yeah, somebody asked earlier on. What about the ramp bug against the cargo <laughs> plane? Okay, you just like knock yourself out. <laughs> we're gonna go and try then the ramp bug against the cargo plane. Will the ramp buggy go under it. As I'm sure you guys know, if you put a car under the cargo plane, it completely crushes the car. So will the ramp buggy go under the cargo plane and pick it up? Or will it be crushed? All right, if you get your ramp buggy as well, just in case it gets destroyed, so we can give it another try. Uh, we'll make our way towards the airport, we'll try that, and then we'll do some shout outs. How's that sound? That doesn't mean it's not a cue for you guys to spam the comments right now. Shout out, shout out, it's not, that's not wise, that's not clever. Keep on giving us suggestions for ideas, because if there's any good suggestions, we'll definitely give them a try. Otherwise, after this challenge, we'll do some shoutouts. But in return, all I ask is a like. So if you haven't Someone's dropped a like already, please do Rocket Car versus Ramp Buggy. Like, um, have that going full speed into it and see how far you go. Okay, we could give, that, we could give it a try. Oh, if you want, if you want, you go and get your Rocket Car right now. Well, I know you've just, <laughs> you've just brought your car out. I've already got mine. I'll make my way towards the airport. You're going to be there in, you know, before me anyway, because you've got a much faster vehicle. Well, first we'll try the cargo uh, plane. Actually, no, we'll, we'll try the um, the Rocket Baltic first, just in case uh, the ramp buggy gets destroyed. Yeah, that's probably the, the wise thing to do. And then, then we'll do shoutouts. If there's no other suggestions coming in. Oh, I accidentally caught, uh, caught that uh, little tornado by there. Ooh. Caught the sign. I'm going to try not to do any damage to this vehicle if I can. And before I smash into something, as soon as I say that, oh, he's going crazy. Uh, Richard said he dropped a like on the stream. Thank you so much, Richard. You are awesome. Like all the other guys who are watching right now, have dropped a like. Over a thousand of you have done so, and that's awesome. Just cannot thank you guys enough. Uh, someone said there's snow out in GT Online. Look, I've I've already seen that, guys. I know the the joke. There's no snow, but I reckon later this week. On Friday nights in the UK, it'll be midnight Friday night, we will get snow in GT Online. I'm pretty sure that's when we're going to get it. Usually midnight on the like the 22nd, 23rd 
of December when we get snow. So fingers crossed. Right, let's uh, make our way to the airport. Have you got your rocket car yet, Real? Yep, so. I'm almost there. Okay, let me know where you are. Let's see if I can see it on the mini map. Not just yet. We'll go over to this uh, hangar by here where the uh, Titan is. Oh, the Rockstar servers are down. I just got the saving failed thing. Oh, no. Hopefully, don't disconnect. Fingers crossed. Okay, just despawned. So, oh, it despawned. I mean, spawned in. Yeah. So, like I said, usually when a car drives into the back wheels of the, uh, the Titan, uh, the vehicle gets completely crushed because it's such a heavy vehicle. But we're going to see what happens when. The ramp buggy goes into this. But first, we're going to try the, uh, the rocket coil going over this. Because if I do go in it and it gets destroyed, then we can't try that. So let's go either end of the, uh, either end of the track. You go down there, you go like towards the sun. I'm going to go this way. We go into each other full speed. Hopefully collide somewhere towards the middle. And then we're going to give it a go. Right, I'm going to go from by here because you're much faster than me. You ready? Yep. Drive then, drive. Down the middle. Straight down the middle where the, the lights are. I'm not going to use my boost until I'm like right about to hit you. Okay, that sounds like a plan. Okay, here we are, here we are. Activate! Oh, ho, ho. look at that! <laughs> Where'd you go? Really far. Man, that was crazy. Let's swap over, let's swap over so I can have a go. That looks awesome. That was insane. Someone asked, have you ever been to Ponte Breed before? Yes, I have. Want to recommend it to a friend? Probably not. Oh. Mate, uh, I want to swap over with you. Yeah, I know. I just wanted to do it one more time. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I get too stop, excited, I can, mate. I, I can't blame puberty. Just stop. You just can't hold your excitement in. That's what it is. You know what? You deserve this, man. No. Come I back. can't even hit you. No. Good. Oh, Come right. back to me. All right, let's swap over. Or swap over, rather. You swip so over. Swip. <laughs> I've just had an idea for a glitch as well, man. Ooh, that's not a really good idea. Right. Okay, then we'll do the same again. I'll go this way. I'd like to make my boost go further away. And let's uh, try and handbrake turn it. There we go. Right, I'm driving now towards you. Down the middle again. Please do okay. the same. So, fingers crossed. Let's see if we can go into the water this time. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Agabate! Oh, look at that. We should try and like point it upwards as well. See if we go nice and high in the air. There we go. You go pretty far. Right then, let's go and try the challenge then. What happens when the ramp buggy goes into the Titan? Activate! Oh, we're going up. Look how high I'm going. Okay, right now then, real. Make your way to the, the hangar where the Titan is. We're going to go and try and see what happens. Let's uh, drive back down towards there. Come on, activate boost. Are you ready, real? Yeah. Okay. Let me get into the car with you so we can do it together. Now go into the back wheels. The back ones are at the back, which is behind the front wheels, okay? That should be good enough direction for you. But go around the back first. Go around the back. This is how you crush cars usually. The question is, will it get crushed or will we simply go under it? Here we go. Bollocks. Nice. <laughs> okay, uh, to conclude then guys, as uh, speculated, yes, the ramp buggy is destroyed by the Titan. So there we go then, quite a few challenges throughout the stream, some pretty awesome ones that you guys suggested, a few that we came up with, and uh, I think you guys enjoyed it. If you guys would like to see some more challenges just like this in another live stream, let me know right now by leaving a comment and we can do another stream. If you're not really a big fan of them, and you maybe, maybe have some like better ideas for streams, you can of course let me know over on Twitter. But I think overall that was pretty successful. Right, let me get into your car as well, Real. We're going to make our way back to the uh, vehicle warehouse. I'm going to do some shout-outs on the way. So if you guys want to shout-out, go ahead and leave a comment right now. You can say anything you want. And, uh, yep, go ahead and do that. All I ask in return is to make sure you drop a like on the stream and you're subscribed to my channel. And you can definitely have one. Real, right, so if you want to go first... Yep, shout out to Exquisite, shout out to Brian, shout out to Albin, shout out to Shark Attack, shout out to Darkest Saber, shout out to Marissa, shout out to... Nice. Nice drive, mate. Shout out to Billy Dawson, shout out to Mason, Mason twice, <laughs> shout out to Quinn, shout out to Wheat, I think. I don't know if that's right, sorry about that. 
still giving us some challenges. Of course, if you guys really did like this, we could, of course, do a part two sometime. Shout out to PS4 Gamer Boy. Shout out to Brian. Starting to see some same names already. Shout out to Justin. Shout out to Jason. Shout out to Alec. Shout out to James. Shout out to Robert. Shout out to Philly. Shout out to Crazy Guy Callum Home. Shout out to Welsh Dragon Rule. Shout out to Darren. Shout out to Quinn. If you want to do a few, feel free. Okay, here we go then, guys. Deep breath. Shout out to Edward. Shout out to Deal. Shout out to Simran. Shout out to Brandon. Shout out to Apex. Shout out to 86. Shout out to Harry. Shout out to Ripley. Shout out to Marcus. Shout out to Summon. Shout out to Sybil. Shout out to Extended. Shout out to John. Shout out to Marcus. Shout out to Reels Amazing Driving. Shout out to XG. Shout out to Harry. Shout out to Matex. Shout out to Extended. Shout out to Katie. Shout out to Blair. Shout out to Shock. Shout out to Perth Gaming. Shout, Shout out, out to, to Harry Jack. and the King. Doctor out of my mind. Continue. Shout out to Robbie. Shout out to Swag. Shout out to King. Shout out to Evil. Shout out to Mixbox, of course. Hello. Welcome back once again. Shout out to Lucas. Shout out to Mikal. Shout out to Harry. Shout out to Jay. Shout out to Zodiac. Shout out to Lisa. Shout out to Swag. Shout out to uh, Production. Shout out to videos shout out to sniper shout out to infinity shout out to simon shout out to shockblade shout out to joel shout out to shout james out to harry shout out to connor shout out to chucky shout out to robbie shout out to welsh dragon rule again hello what's up shout out to uh quinn shout out to joel shout out to blair shout out to sasha shout out to shane shout out to nova shout out to lois shout out to expert gamer shout out to uh da twin shout out to apex again shout out to skippy Shout out to uh, Leon, shout out to Talk, shout out to Excited, shout out to uh, Carter, shout out, shout to, out to Jack. Shout out to Mods, Darren. Shout out to Darren, yep, he's in my stream as well. Shout out to KDB. Nice. Uh, mate, I'm watching you right now driving. You are the worst driver. You're worse than me. Hey, I'm driving with one eye. I'm looking at my chat and the other one. I don't know how you can do that, mate. you got like two wonky eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I can't uh, drive out. Mixbox, uh, my replacement. Shout out to <laughs> Marissa, Harry, Billy. Shout out to Tiger. Shout out to Isaiah. Shout out to Evil. Mate, can you at least drive? When I'm doing the shout outs, you do the driving, okay? How's that sound? Shout out to Morgan. Shout out to Simran again. Shout out to Izzy. Shout out to Exotic. Shout out to uh, Please. Shout out to Stan. Shout out to Matthew. Shout out to Scott. Shout out to Team. Shout out to Talk. Shout out to Marcus. Shout out to Joel. Shout out to Brian. Shout out to Brendan. Shout out to, shout out to Team Randy. Shout out to Doctor Out of My Mind. Shout out to Quinn. Shout out to um, Idro. I think so. You say your name. Shout out to Harvey. Shout out to J Dome. Shout out to Khalil. Shout out to Skippy. Shout out to Derpy. Shout out to Zodiac. Shout out to uh, who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Purple. Shout out to Hosiah. Shout out to Fearless. Shout out to GTA Bros. Shout out to Vade. Shout out to Evil Connor. Shout out to Robbie. Shout out to Equok. Shout out to Harry. Shout out to Jack Septicai. Shout out to uh, Jayfinity. Shout out to uh, Ronaldinho. Shout out to Scott. Shout out to Palestine. Shout out to Dan. Shout out to uh, Doro. Shout out to Dreezy. Shout out to Volk. Shout out to Demo. Shout out to Sam. Shout out to Snoop Dogg420. Shout out to. Uh, Ron again, shout out to Dreezy again, shout out to Glitcher Dev, shout out to Alex, shout out to Nick, shout out to Joe, shout out to Dor, shout out to uh, Mehet, shout out to Brian Sasha. Brian asked for a second shout out, shout out to you. And shout out to Joel, shout out to Riley, shout out to Extensive, shout out to Carbon, shout out to Kid, shout out to... Uh, a lot of numbers. Shout out to you. Shout out to Anthony. Shout out to True. I'm seeing loads and loads of the same names, guys. So uh, right now we're doing another 10 shout outs and we're going to wrap things up. So here we go. Shout out to shout Lucas. Out to the Legend 27. Shout out to Assassin. Shout out to Skemo. Shout out to Assassin again. Shout out to Chucky again. Shout out to Young. Shout out to Civil. Shout out to Harry. Shout out to uh, Lewis. Shout out to Dragon. Shout out to Jack, shout out to Don, shout out to Carter, shout out to JK, shout out to Popcorn, shout out to Dean, shout out to uh, 
I don't even know how you say your name. I can't even pronounce that. I'm sorry. Shout out to the person with a very difficult name to pronounce. <laughs> I think I that to... covers just about everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Um, shout out to uh, Death Ninja. Shout out to Michael. Shout out to William. Shout out to R. Woody. Shout out to Billy. XEX. Gamer Boy. Shout out to Brian. And shout out to the Zomb. Okay, there we go. I think we're going to wrap things up then with that. So, uh, apologies for the people that didn't get a shout out, but hopefully everyone has. If you didn't, just tune in tomorrow and I'll hopefully get you done then. Otherwise, as always, guys, thank you for watching. One more time, drop a like, make sure you're subscribed, and I hope you guys have enjoyed this live stream. As always, then, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I love you all, and I'll see you guys then tomorrow in my next video or live stream. Goodbye.